hands, Walter. Jazz hands. There's Walter doing the safety harbor jazz hands. Hank Strange doing the Big Daddy Guns hand, jazz hands. We are live. We are live, people. Live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. There is no, there is no lower third here because it's just not working. <laughs> Technical difficulties. We are live. Oh, shit ski. Oh, there we go. We fixed it. Seriously. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. I hope you got your big girl panties on. We are back for more drama, chaos, and insanity. It's just me and uh, Walter Keller today. What's up, Walter? Oh, man. Just trying to. Chaos and insanity. That's what's going on. Yeah, so. that's pretty much that's pretty uh, much the word all around. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. So, and welcome back to everyone joining us. It's just uh, Walter and myself right now. It's Wednesday. I think this is episode one twenty seven, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Who knows? Let me see. Uh, let me check it just to be okay. It is episode one twenty seven, and um, we're gonna have Sam from Fortune Freedom, I think, joining us later. But hey, we're here. And we are ready to do this. We welcome back everyone who is joining us, all the folks in the chat, hanging out with us tonight. Yeah. Um, this is our first day back since we went out to SHOT Show. We obviously came back from SHOT Show over the weekend. When did you guys get back, Walter? Um, Saturday night. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I think uh, you got back Saturday night. I think we got back Saturday night also. You got back after us because I saw the photos of you getting on the, the small commuter plane. Oh, the little tiny plane that yeah. didn't like they couldn't get it started <laughs> really <laughs> no man we were we were sitting in the airport for like after the time it was supposed to take off for about an hour or something after that was well, somebody outside uh, with a crank crank me too hot lola too hot too hot go the other way go the other I don't, lola is messing around with light still in the studio yeah i don't know what's going on trying to make you pretty that's all yeah what can i say you know there's not enough magic or lighting <laughs> Or makeup or anything like that to make me beautiful. <laughs> Speaking of makeup, we'll have to talk uh, about that uh, democratic democratic response to the uh, president last night. Do I didn't see that. I, I didn't. Um, I did not see the democratic response. I did watch the State of the Union, and and you know me. You know I like tell it like it is as much as I possibly can. I think it was actually pretty good, Walter. Oh, he knocked it out of the ballpark, yeah. my friend. I, I think Trump did oh, man, it. That was just like <laughs> that was a Hank Aaron moment there. That was seven hundred and fifteen. Yeah. And uh when when did we get an America, America, America? Did that ever happen before? Did, um, that, did that ever happen that everyone was chanting America? No, USA. Yeah, USA, yeah, USA, USA, yeah, USA. USA. Yeah. And all yeah. the Democrats were sitting there like like Brit Hume said on Fox, it looked like their dog died. Yeah. You know, they're also what, like, we can't get a uh you know, USA out of the Dem Dems, I guess. Well, you know, they didn't get excited about the, anything that that was. Maybe, uh, maybe we can get a Go Russia or power to North Korea out of them or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. Maybe we get yeah. them all Che shirts. Maybe they get excited about that. Yeah, Che. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy, yeah. Yeah, it's um, you know, I think he did a good job. I don't know what you guys think. You can let us know what you think. But I actually, I watched it. Lola and I were here in the studio. So what went down yesterday? Yesterday was Lola's birthday. She happy went to work. Birthday. Yes, happy birthday, Thank Lola. You. She's now 144 years old. Some people gave me grief for releasing that information. Uh, what's Lola, her secret? Lola is an African vampire. <laughs> a That's a prin she's a princess now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she's a vampire of the Africans. <laughs> 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 but um, she went to work yesterday since she took her time off to go out to SHOT Show with me. Mm. And while we were out there, I tried to, like, you know, have celebrations for her birthday or get her something. She wasn't mm. interested. So she came back, went to work. She came and had dinner with me. And then we were here in the studio working, trying to get videos done mm. and get stuff set up. Because we're still setting up the studio here. There's still a lot of chaos mm. going on. But we're trying to rein it in. Mm. You know, and get it, get everything working around here at Big Daddy Guns. Uh, we're 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 pretty close, but um, we spent the we spent the uh, most of the evening actually here working. That's what Lola did for her birthday. Yeah, I think we were here till about uh, midnight. Was it midnight? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I watched that. I, I haven't watched a, um, a State of the Union address in years mm -hmm. um, because I just haven't. I couldn't tell you if I've watched Bushes or. I definitely didn't watch any Obamas or not all of it because mm -hmm. it was all just rhetoric most of the time anyways. But mm -hmm. um, I watched it front to back. I watched the uh, the uh, the commentary afterwards, you know. 
Um, and really, nobody had anything bad to say about it. I mean, you know, I mean, even even you know, you're not going to get a lot of bad out of some people, but usually, some people say, you know, I hit this or that, or or the delivery was bad or whatever. And me was like, I was like, no, it was wow, all good, man. There was some tear joke jerker moments yeah, oh, with yeah, the yeah, families. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, like he had the but family, all uh, but all truthful, nothing that was manufactured to make that right, right. You know, or it, yeah. you, know, you know, something different about Trump and, and Obama when he gives a speech. Obama's speeches were all about Obama, me, mm -hmm. me, big right. guana. And then um, when Trump's up there, he's talking about we and you and the country and this, that, and the other. And that's yeah. what that's what he's supposed to be doing, not talking about me. So, yeah. you know, that's a difference yeah. between. The I mean, two he guys. does say how awesome he is, but well, of I course, yeah, he's going to pat himself on the back yeah. a little bit, but yeah. I can't really, you know, I can't really hate. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with self promotion. No, right? no, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. But you know, no, you're right. I think he was very um he he was very focused right in the speech. And um I think he did a great job and he took all the right beats. It's not an easy thing to do. So anyone out there that wants to knock it, it's not an easy thing to mm -hmm. do. Um and if you consider the team that Obama had when he did it, I think he also he he did a good job when 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 he was there. I mean, you're yeah, supposed to be able to do it. His his stuff is never as positive. It was always like there was problems. Oh, we have these mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. You know, oh, we got. Hey, it wasn't. It wasn't necessarily America positive. Like right. you know, this right. is an awesome place. Listen, I think like any place in the world, America has issues, but it's still the best place in the world, as far as I'm that, concerned. Well, why the hell so, does all these people want to get in here illegally? <laughs> yeah, and and I, I, you know, there wasn't such a thing as dreamers when I came to America, but I'm pretty much like that. You know, that's line of the thing. America's a dreamers too. Yeah, you know, I my family came here that way. We came through through JFK Airport, flew in oh. in a plane with a visa. We just uh, overstayed it, and uh, then we had to work to get our green cards, and we had to leave the country and come back in with our green cards and 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 make sure that we obeyed the laws and all that kind of stuff. And took my time. I got my citizenship in. I came to America in 1983. I think I got my green card in 1992. I want to say. And um, in 2003, I became a citizen. You know, I can't blame anybody for doing some of the stuff that goes on. I really can't. But you know, we got to keep it <laughs> under some kind of control, or just chaos. Well, I think you know? I think we have to fix it because there's so many different rules. In the time that we came and we jumped through all the hoops and did the right thing, there are lots of people who just got amnesty, and that's and they not right. never and they never had to leave. And I'm I'm not necessarily knocking them. I'm just saying that at right. some point we need to fix this and make it clear what it is, and also make it clear what happens when you come to America and you don't appreciate the freedom and the awesomeness and the opportunity that's here. If you don't appreciate it and you do bad things. You Out. should not have the privilege of being here in America, and you Out. should definitely not be allowed to destroy the other people in America who do appreciate it, who are right. working hard, right. and who right. deserve who deserve to have us care about what happens to them and their family. So, Correct. you know. Um, so yeah, it was a positive. Overall, I think it was a good I, thing. Yeah, I, you know, it was positive, positive, positive. Not no, it wasn't. He didn't bring in any, in any of the stuff that's going to happen here shortly with the. The memos and stuff. He, I'm glad he kind of kept that out. So yeah, even though, because that's because it's going to be positive for him eventually. Well, I think we all know. You know, that's why I was thinking now. about all those Democrats sitting there with that scowl on their face. They know what's happening, what's coming up, and it ain't going to be pretty, my friend. Yeah. There's going to be people jumping out windows. Right. So, um, <laughs> I, well, you know, it's. But that's why I see some of what's going on. And I've said this before, you know, I don't totally agree with anyone. I don't believe in dogma. I'm not dogmatic to anything. So I'm not that way to Trump. I don't think that Trump or any other president is going to be able to save me. Right, 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 right. However, if you look at what's going on with Trump, man, I don't think I've ever seen someone be this embattled. Obviously, the press doesn't like him. Bush had that, whatever. Right, right, right. You know, um, obviously, the people on the flip side, the opposition doesn't like him. You know, lots of people had that. Obama had that. Republicans didn't like him. Oh, yeah. You oh, know, yeah. Bush he also the, has that the Republicans don't like him. <laughs> but Obama had the press on his side, so he never got the press part like right. Trump's. Yeah, doing. Trump doesn't have the press on his side. We expect it. Um, he doesn't. He also does not have Republicans on his side not for the really. most part. Uh, there well, are now some. They're, they're getting on board now because they see this Russian thing as all a fake lie, anyways. 
and there's really nothing there. So they're going to, man, this is working. He's doing stuff that's working. Matter of fact, speaking of that, one of my employees, which will go nameless, goes up to my significant other who does the payroll and says, did you make a mistake? I have 50 something more dollars in my check. <laughs> and all I thought was, you should have said yes. That's the Hank Strange fund. No mistake. Yes, it's it was. Trump. It was the Hank Strange fund. No, they <laughs> they accidentally got some of the Hank Strange fund. Ah, no, oh, okay. <laughs> no, so, that's awesome. So you're able to share the wealth with your with your. Well, folks. I mean, no, that's just from the from the change in the tax structure. Right. Okay. So, oh, know, so that wasn't you guys doing no, something. No, that was because that was that was the Trump stuff. You know, the tax changes, the the okay. the, the, the tax law stuff that changed. Right. So yeah, I mean it's it's happening to people. They're gonna see results. Now, okay, you say, Oh, I only got twenty dollars more. Well, you know what? If you don't want that twenty dollars, just put it in an uh, envelope and send it right back to the US Treasury. They'll take yeah, it back. Uh, wait a second. Yeah. Um, first of all, twenty bucks puts gas in the tank. <laughs> twenty dollars does a lot yeah. of things. I remember when I didn't have twenty dollars in my name. So I was scrounging up, you know change yeah. and things like that to get 20 bucks yeah so. and and if it, we've got if it's 20 dollars a week or 20 dollars by uh bi-weekly or whatever that adds up over a year oh, yeah. and you can do some yeah. things to it i'm sure yeah. no one's gonna say no i don't want it keep the money and if you don't want it you can absolutely send it to me yeah. Yeah. or you or can me. uh write a check to the government and yeah, just uh, get, don't take it back yeah let's shout out the people okay let's shout out the people that are out there um that that they were waiting for us to come back. They're probably like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> like, you really took some time off. But we came back. So Monday we had stuff to do. And then obviously yesterday it was Lola's birthday. So she wanted to be able to, you know, be here. Oh, it looks like. Did you mute your microphone, Walter? Can't hear you. You're muted. Yes, I did just for a second because I was going to do yeah. this. Oh, oh, please. Oh, yes, please. Mute right? It. I get pitched at either way. So it's yeah. like, <laughs> no, I just heard silence for a second. I was like, what the hell what happened? What's going on? Because I'm going here to shout out everyone. So it looks like Michael Bender and Chris Illog were fighting for number one for the number ones. You're both you're both my number one guys. Like, who knows where this line comes from? You're my number one guy. Who knows? Would you zip it? I wasn't asking you, Lola. Okay, you just gave it away. I was gonna let these two. <laughs> what, what's so funny? I had to turn the mic back on. <laughs> Lola just messed that up. Okay, the Archangel. He said he's third. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, e Rock is in here as well. Um, Archangel says finally out of strange alcohol, strange alcoholics detox center. <laughs> uh, Is that bad? Michael really? Yeah, Michael Bender says, been going through strange withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, Cruise Man Bolas, he's in here. DC2 Mega Boost says, yo, 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 yo. Um, that fellow is Richard Hughes says. Yeah, Chris Illog wants, who says that? Richard Hughes. Oh, okay. Um, okay, hold on, I'm getting to that. What did he, what does he say? He, said, he just said good fellas. Is that oh, good. Was that what no. you said? No, you're my. Okay, the the thing is, is like you're my number one guy. That's all I'm giving. That's all I'm giving away. Mm. Don't listen oh. to what Lola said. Who knows where that came from? It's from a movie. That's all. That's all I'm gonna. Let's see who comes up with it. It wasn't in. It wasn't in Goodfellas. Um, and I'm trying to remember who said it. Oh, what's the name of this guy that said it? That would be a good <laughs> clue. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's move on here. We'll come back to it. Chris Illog wants to know what Lola got for her birthday. Uh, Lola got dinner. We went to dinner. We had dinner with my younger son, and I bought Lola a bracelet. So there you go. Mm. Um, a nice, you know, it's a nice bracelet. I don't know if Lola wants to. Are you wearing your bracelet, woman? <laughs> She's wearing it. Okay, maybe we get her to show the bracelet. I just bought her a nice little gold Uh white gold because i'm racist when it comes to gold <laughs> i like the white gold that's all right the other golds the white gold is actually my favorite gold so i got a little white gold bracelet that's actually from versace 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 i bet you no one knows about that song that's a song walter i bet you never heard that song uh oh wait a minute i've heard it because of you Okay. You've heard the song because of me? I heard parts of it because of you. Oh, I think. I think you 
God played that for me or something. <laughs> I don't I? know. <laughs> to make sure that I heard it. When did, oh, did I play that for you? When we were I know about Versace. Somebody? Forget about the song. I know about you know, what okay, happened. You know about Hill. Versace itself. Okay, so here, let's see. Um, hold on. Wait, let's see if we can. Wait, I'll bring that. I'll change cameras right now and go to a closer camera, Lola. Hold on. We'll just go to a closer camera. So there you go. So there you go. There's Lola's little Versace. Her little Versace, Versace, Versace. What makes it Versace? Just the design or? Um, no, no, no. This thing right here, it's 18 karat white gold. Okay. okay. So if you can see this little here, that's a, see that? That's Versace right there. Okay. So this was actually made by by Versace. Okay. Excellent. Very I just good. Found, I found, I just found it in you know uh, there's a place that I go to, uh, Hale Pawn and Jewelry. Okay. Here, um, those are my peeps. So you know they have cool things like that. I know I don't like paying retail for anything if I could help. You get it. the Hank Strange discount. Yeah, I like to get lots of discounts. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got that for her. I was trying to get something for Lola when we were in Vegas, but she's so picky. Well, I understand that completely. Yeah, she's a pain, it's a real pain when it comes to all that stuff. I, I got I got a um, picky uh, lady. She likes certain things. You know? I was trying to get her a nice swatch. I saw this really nice swatch watch that was like 75 bucks. It was a deal. It was a total deal. <laughs> and I, bought, I bought Peggy a tag one time, and she wore it maybe two times. And, uh, no. Oh, you should have gotten her a swatch. Well, she don't like watches too much, really. No, so. oh, she's not. She's not a watch. Okay, she's, no, she's not, not a watch straight. person. So. Okay, there you go. All right, so let's keep going down here. Um, Chris B. He says good evening. Good evening. Um, and uh, what do we got here? Archangel wants to know what's up, good people. Hank Strange, show us more on the Brownells retro rifles. I'm interested. Mm, me too. In the pinned and welded shorty. What was the name of the shorty? Um, XM XM 177. Yes, you know what? That's the one lots of people like. Babyface you know Sony. What? I like it. You I don't mean, like it? No, no, I like I like I Okay, let's back up here. I'm the AR10 guy retro. I'm looking for that AR10. So Those are coming. Did I you know. not Did you see those? Yes, I did. did I not? Yeah, there's pictures out. I don't I probably did. You see Brownells <laughs> reposted my picture of it. They did. <laughs> they did. They did. Oh, cool. Kudos. Thank you very much Brownells crew. Yes, um, yes. Did you did you put your um, Ministry of Propaganda patch in there? I did not that time, but it said Brownells Retro. I got it all framed up right when I took the pick. Okay, yeah, gave they him, do. Gave, him, gave him credit, you know. Awesome, cool. But Walter, you're like a, a freaking social media impresario now, man. You know. I've created a freaking monster. A monster, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you think back, like a year ago, uh, no, I know. Wait, when did you start? I, Was it like a year and a half or two years ago? Yeah. Oh, oh, you mean, well. When you started doing all this crazy, uh, you always did social media, but not on this not, level. But not like posting on Instagram and stopping to take pictures of, for Instagram yeah, and all. Yeah, you're, you're so super famous now, man. Every time I yeah. came by the booth, there's people over there hanging out with you because they see you on the. I did have uh, a few people say, hey, I watched your blog. Yeah, it's awesome. Really? Okay. Make sure you remember me when it's, you know. When it's time for the Bugatti? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't need a Bugatti, Walter. Um, I would be totally happy with a Ferrari. A Lambo. Oh, no. From you, I want a Ferrari. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. We can do that. We'll work on the that. Lambo, I could get on my own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I get it. Ferrari, Walter. Don't don't mess it up. You got to go to the factory and get fitted for it, you know? Red. Yes. I want to go to Italy to get the Ferrari. I'm going to hang out in Instructor Zero. <laughs> Big bowl of spaghetti and uh, for your Ferrari. You know? uh, yeah, and some other things that we're not going to talk about. Yeah, okay, okay. Right now, because we don't, you know. Did you see that pick on um, on uh, 182nd Johnny or whatever the um, the guy that does the gossip? Where he oh, gun that? gossip. Yeah, gun you gossip, saw the picture. Yeah. You saw a picture of Kevin Dixie, right? With the is the seven dwarves. No, I did. You know you what? I, you told me about it. I still haven't gotten around to there's it. There's a picture of Hickok's son, Hickok, Hickok 45 son, who's like a giant. And mm -hmm. there's like seven guys standing next to him. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I actually <laughs> saw the picture that Kevin put up. <laughs> and Kevin was the last one in the. And he said, This is with the seven. <laughs> And I saw the picture that Kevin put up. Oh, so he's making fun of that picture. Yeah, yeah, I was. That's I cool. thought that funny, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think gun, gun gossip is uh, cool. Oh, I like my butt off, man. We're gonna get him on the show, I think, next week, Lola. Yes. 
Yeah, Gun Gossip is coming on the show. Oh, cool. Cool. So yeah. he's coming on. Shout out to DC2 Megaboost. He says, what's up, Hank and Lola? Um, Jolly Roger says, what's up, strange peeps? And he puts in a whole bunch of hashtags. So don't forget to hashtag this, guys. Also, don't forget to click like the thumbs it. ups. We really, really need the thumbs up. Someone tell me how many thumbs ups we have right now because I don't know. 50. 50. Okay, cool. 50 52. thumbs ups. 52. Okay, 52. We have like 80 something people watching us right now, which is not bad for our first day back yeah. since we've been gone for a while. But please, everyone, thumbs ups. If you're watching and you appreciate what we're doing here, click the thumbs ups. We really need it. And we really appreciate it. If you really, really hate us, you could thumbs down. You need to, when Gun Gossip Johnny's on, you need to let me know what day that is for sure, because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go get something special for that show. Oh, do you know what day Gun Gossip's coming on? Um, let me get my planner. Okay, Lola says she's going to look it up and I let you know. Let's get me a feather boa. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so you all, need one too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, where do I even get those? Um, Actually, locally here, I just saw a really bright one at... um at um oh the uh, hobby lobby they the hobby lobby by me oh, hobby lobby has it. okay yeah. so when you get it you need to remind me that i need to get one yeah i'll have to because or uh, you know what if you're um uh, did you send what, what's up with my tail hook i know i hate to bring up uh like nope, put nope. Our, i hate to put our business in the streets uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting the tail hook but you're probably you're getting a brand tail hook man you're getting a brand new one because I don't know where you're. You're the one you gave me. <laughs> it's gotten lost in the. No, show. it's not lost. It might be in the containers that come into oh. Vegas. It might be someplace else. Oh, okay. <laughs> they all look the same, you know. No, it's, it's one of those things. Yeah, it's cool. It's just that I have some kind of. Um, um, I have something for it, uh, Lola. If you look over there on my desk, I told um I gave one to a, my. There's to my, that B and T thing. Can you bring it to me? Oh. Yeah, I have something that's that requires a tail hook. Okay. So um, look to the left. It's got it's a, in packaging. Yeah, I gave um, I gave it to my shipping department tonight today and with explicit orders. So oh, I was going to tell you to just put a bow in there for me, but okay. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I could get one tomorrow, but yeah, yeah I think it already went today. Yeah, oh, I remember so, that. I remember you telling yeah, me about so that, check yeah. this out. So this is uh, original accessories, B and T, Swiss made, and this is for I think this is for the what, which one is this for? Hold on. This is for the MP9, um, TP, KH9, P26, and basically it's tail hook. So you can you can put this on there, and it'll still be a pistol because you can put the tail hook on it. I haven't opened it or anything like that. But That's we have genuine, some... genuine Swiss plastic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so I know I know the, uh, the the people from this company, so we'll do something on that. Okay. And we are going to show uh, SHOT Show stuff. That's what this episode is about. Okay. We're going to talk about SHOT Show. Was it hot? Was it not hot? And Yeah, and I got – and I had – yeah, we'll talk about it. Yep, yep. Yes, we are going to do that. Let's uh, see if we can go through here and keep shouting out peeps. Uh, Vanessa Kitty, what's going on, Vanessa Kitty? She says, howdy, everyone. Um, I think Jolly Roger was giving us hashtags. He said – Hashtag shout me out. Hashtag Hank Strange. Hashtag Jazz Hands. Hashtag Big Girl Panties. Hashtag Thumbs Ups. Hashtag Who Moved My Freedom. Hashtag Cow Cocky. Cow and hashtag Mick Gangbang. If no <laughs> one, if no one, did you see the Mick Gangbang video? I think you did. We talked about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw oh, that. So uh, no. if you haven't seen the Mick Gangbang video, um, just Google. Um, McGangbang in a Rolls Royce Wraith. Oh, Rolls Royce, yeah. And check that out. Um, and then let's see what's going on here. Chris Illog says, uh, hopefully none of you got the shot show sickness bugs. Oh, did I you? did. I did. You did? Oh. Yeah. I well, got... actually, my, my, my favorite person from the Killer Keller family, which strangely is not you, Walter. Do you know who's my favorite person? My daughter, Alexis, yes. Yes, she's my favorite person. She got the mung. Yeah, she was very sick, and I was very sad about that. Yeah, she wasn't feeling good. Yeah, because we really didn't get to hang out and all that kind of stuff. I didn't get, like, flu flu. I just caught a cold right at the end, so. Oh, okay. So yeah. shall, is she feeling better? Yeah, she's feeling better, yeah. Okay, but did she pass that on to you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I don't think I got it from Alexis. I I mean, look, at look, Kevin Dixie caught the mung, too, so. Oh, Kevin Dixie, it was like on his – I hate to laugh about this, but we need to – we need to pray, pray for Kevin. Kevin. No, he gave me a he's still he, sick right yeah, now. You know what he was you know what he was liking to do all the time when he came up to the booth? 
he sneak mm -hmm. up behind you and like he did to pay you one time. He stuck his head right on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. So his face was like right next to your face. He did that one time mm -hmm. and me come up and like grab me and I'm like, I gave me a hug and I was like, man, you're oh, going to catch the shit from doing this stuff. You know, it's yeah. like, yeah. But yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I took some one, one nice thing about it, take some really strong um, cold medicine and get kind of loopy and just, mm -hmm. you know, la, 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 la. <laughs> I was drinking. I was drinking a lot of orange juice. I did that too. I love yeah, lots of vitamin C and taking stuff, and yeah. also avoiding uh, doing lots of hugging, intimate unless, contact. Yes. Yeah. Unless it was with attractive people, <laughs> and by attractive people, I mean the ladies. Boobage. Yeah. For the ladies, I will get sick. For dudes, <laughs> no, thank you. No, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm not interested <laughs> in your male germs. <laughs> So um, let's see who else is in here. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, let's see. Archangel, uh, E Rock. Let's see. We we did shout him out before, and let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to go through. I don't want to miss anyone in here. Brian <laughs> no. Quick. Brian Quick says, "Welcome back, all you gangsters." I see music lover Richard Hughes. He says, "Yo, yo, yo, yo." Music lover um, was asking if I was kissing people. No, I'm not a kissing type person, so yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Um, no, no. I'm, yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds weird. <laughs> I mean, not like, hey, I'm. No, 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 no. Are no. you a germaphobe? No, or like slightly no. germaphobic. No. But oh. it's, it's just the way I was brought up. It just, um, yeah. They just everybody. It's like germ. Certain European, like Germans and stuff like that, everybody doesn't get together and kiss and hug and touch and all this stuff. Just mm -hmm. shake hands. Hello, how you doing? Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, not a lot of yeah. that. Ah! Yeah, I was brought up basically the way I was brought up is the way that um, my mom showed affection was by beating my ass, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm still here. Whatever. Yeah, you survived. <laughs> yeah. You know, when here. I when I got spanked, I did something. And I didn't get spanked oh. because I, it was uh, recreational. I got spanked because I did something. Oh, I must have been like an evil-looking baby, an evil-looking kid, because <laughs> I just got like – I got in trouble for everyone. And no matter who did anything out of my brothers or my you sister, got in trouble? this guy. Yeah. yeah. This guy got blamed for it. But, uh -huh. you know, it's cool. I'm not I'm not hating or anything. Like that. Yeah. Richard Hughes says Trump rocked the house. Yeah, he did. I think – honestly, I think he did a good job. Yep. Um, Very well. Uh, Tim Not Tim says, thank God Hank is back. <laughs> Exhale says, what's up? And let me shout out. But if you guys see what I have on the wall here right now, check this out. Look at that, people. Check this. Let me let me oh, actually lock cool. this. Yeah. yeah, let me lock this here. This is from Exhale. Thank you very much. Exhale came to SHOT Show and brought this to me, delivered this to me. This So this is an Exhale frame right here, 80% frame, which I will build up. But the most awesome awesomeness is that right there is the skull from my logo. And he did a pretty, I mean, damn. I don't know <laughs> if you guys could see that, but he did a pretty good job, man. I can good, yeah. yeah, I can see the little like mark right there, which is a thunderbolt that looks like a four, because four is my favorite number. Mm. Um, and you know, the Mohawk is there and the skull is pretty good. Exhale did a good job. So shout out to Exhale. Thanks a lot. He brought that to you at the Brownells event, right? Yes, we were at Brownells. And at the Brownells thing, he brought this to me. Very cool. Good dude. He was like, yeah, man, I promised you I was going to bring this. I figured I'd just bring it down with me. So we appreciate that. Richard Hughes says, USA, USA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and E-Rock says uh, something about Nancy Pelosi. I'll let you guys read. <laughs> um, music Lover says, uh, music, uh, Democrats only cheer when America's going down. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Tim, not Tim. Quick poll. Uh, um, am I the only one here who doesn't think the hollow points are magic? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, am I the oh. only one here who doesn't think the hollow points are magic? <laughs> Music okay. lover. Music lover. The hat is thanks to uh, Mr. Strange. So. Oh, did you finally? Oh. Look at that. Let's lock that in. It, that might be it. the that might be the thumbnail right there. Look at that. Come on. Give oh, we couldn't get a smile. There you go. There you go. One hundred percent fake. That <laughs> noggin is guaranteed to scare babies. <laughs> <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's funny you mentioned that. My uh, normally I get along pretty good with little kids like that. They look at me and I make faces and they laugh and stuff. Mm -hmm. My um, when Peggy's stepsister or, or half sister, they adopted a baby, and the first time I saw that little that little rug rat, I caught up to him. He's looking at me. He's got this serious face, and I went boo, and he fucking just started bawling. <laughs> 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 I get along with him now, but he's because he's. Oh, really? Funny. I was gonna say you just you just press that button. <laughs> he didn't find it funny. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, so here's let's see. Um, Brian Quick says release the memo. Oh yeah, hell yeah. We'll talk about that too. Yeah, Cruzman Bullet says he didn't watch the whole thing. Kalel said he saw the Dirty Money episode on Trump. I didn't. Um, I didn't see that. And Music Lover says, happy birthday, um, Lola. Richie Hughes says, best State of the Union ever. Brian Quick says, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Rocks. Um, and Richard Hughes says, he's not a Trump fan either, but he was impressed. So, you know. Very well delivered. Yeah. Um, uh, positive um, and not too braggadocious. Of course, you know, as Trump, he's got to brag a little bit. But all factual, nothing made up, you know. So yeah. Cool. So, like, did you have to go to the emergency room and get that needle that they put in your in your in your penis when you take too much Viagra after watching the Trump thing? Because <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not a Trump hater or or like a super fan of either one. I mean, you know, I'm a New Yorker, so I believe it or not, up until Trump ran for president, New York's New Yorkers liked him for the most part. Well, you know, that's so, how it works. Yeah. Then when he ran for president, everyone on the planet hated him and all that kind of stuff. But I know, Walter, you we could put you safely. That's why we got you the, you know, the Make America hat great again. There you go. Make America great again hat. I, so I are you OK? I, Did you have to go to the emergency room during this? I. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on all that kind of thing, but uh, I did. Was 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 Peggy was Pe Peggy Keller very happy last night? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying a word. I'm were her saying... needs were her needs properly met, Walter? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> At some point, she's going to come. She's going to come in here and smack me. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. Okay. Is she there? I haven't seen her. Yes, she is. Her She's probably time. watching, actually. So. Oh. Okay. Awesome. Shout out to everyone who is watching and watching us here. Let's see. Um, Michael Bender says uh, Trump plays the Democrats like a fiddle. Oh yeah, he knows how to work. Yeah. Music lover wants to know where's everyone else. Where's Babyface P? Babyface P is up to stuff. You know. Um. I. He's what? Is that what he told you? He's at a birthday party? Oh, I don't no, believe no. that. He's he's sending me pictures of a motorcycle that he bought. So I don't oh, know. Really? Oh, I don't know. For, I don't know if that. I don't know if that motorcycle for an had a, or a Triumph or something. Yeah, I don't know if that motorcycle had a birthday. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Him. <laughs> no, I think we're gonna probably see him later on in the week, right? Or we'll see him uh, sometime. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Um, Tim Not Tim said he also saw that same um, thing about Trump that's on Netflix. I haven't looked at it yet. I need to look at it. Um, and Tango Hunter says it's hard to watch shit when there's an applause every 10 seconds. Glorified pep rally. Well, uh, well for Republicans, them sitting there like, what I'm going to do this weekend. The, 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 clapping, the clapping does get a little you know, out of hand sometimes, but still, it's their party, you know? Yeah. And Richard Hughes says at Lifestyles of Locked and Loaded, not the blue Yeti. It is the worst mic ever. I will hear a mouse fart in the next room. <laughs> oh, why? Because of the microphone that I have? Uh, I, I think it sounds. How does it sound to you guys? Let me know. It sounds fine to me. Yeah. And then Scamp 900 wants to know if we if we believe Trump's approval ratings. I don't believe none of those damn. Well, ratings. I think. Um, Regardless of who it is, I think his likeness or the, his likability is is way higher than what these polls do because I just think it is. I mean, look what the polls were before the election, and um, yeah. and it's easy to figure out. So yeah, um, yeah, we we definitely couldn't believe the polls before the elections. I didn't believe them. I, you know what? I don't believe any of that crap. No, so they can be skewed so easily. It's good or bad. They can be. I mean, saying that. 
that I mean, I know un unemployment is down, but un unemployment was incredibly high with Obama, and they and then the people stop looking for jobs, so they take them off that thing, and the numbers get shifted around. The next thing you know, you got something like forty-seven million people on the government cheese. That's a lot of freaking people collecting a check or an EBT card or whatever the hell it is. Mm -hmm. So you, you got to get those numbers down. That's the main thing. Get those uh, welfare numbers down and then, you know, it, it, it's all good. Boom. Yeah. Ultimately, I think with that, and this is, you know, I'm not trying to get into a quagmire on this, but I think ultimately with that, we need people to see a better life working or starting a business, starting a business or working for yeah. someone who's starting a business right, right, than right, just right. staying home and collecting money from, you know, from I maybe mean, just having babies or whatever even it if is. If they're not having babies and, you know, they're hanging out or whatever, you're, you're going to be stuck there forever. Yeah. You're not going to be, you're not going to go on a trip to England with me if you're on the EBT card because you ain't going to be able to afford it. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that's the bottom line. So you have to, not that I'm looking for people to go to England with me either, because there's plenty of those already. But you go, Hank. Mm -hmm. you, you, I'll take Lola, but you know. But oh, um, <laughs> it's like that. Okay, fine. <laughs> You're welcome to. Yeah. Um, no, that's cool. Uh, you know, not? I'll go to England with you guys. You guys could do whatever you want to do. I got my own peeps. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're, I'll be there in 19 for the for the Normandy. Normandy thing, oh. the 75th anniversary. That's the Normandy thing. I don't That's know where's the next time I'm going overseas, to be honest with you. I need to get my passport. Oh, yeah, you definitely got that first, yeah. Yeah. But, but what, I'm, what I'm just saying is, you know, people, I, myself, I always realized there was more to things than working for somebody else. Because mm -hmm. you see the people that don't, they have more stuff. So it's like, hmm. Well, and you know what? This this is actually a great uh, opportunity, I think, in American history for a lot of people to work for themselves. Uh, so, you know, you don't have to go out there and work for someone. There's so many things you can do and work for yourself and have your own business. I got my own business. That's what I this mean, is. Look at the internet you know? with, inter with the internet and stuff. There's so many different things you can do. I mean, it yeah. We, by the way, we're, we're 100 viewers right now. That's pretty awesome. Shout out to all the 100 people watching us right now. I hope you guys are doing thumbs ups. I don't know how many thumbs ups we're at, but come on. We got 101. We're at 101 people watching this craziness. That's pretty That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I, was, I, I was the kind of person always looking for something, maybe looking for something to make, something to Looking yeah. for something new, you know, you look kind of that way too. It's like, what's next, you know? Yeah. You know what? Also, like the reason why, the, seriously, for me, I'm self employed. Even though I work with uh, lots of different companies, I work for Safety Harbor, right. I work for Big Daddy Guns, I work for Andrews Custom Leather, um, you know, and there's a whole bunch of other things that we do collectively here. I have my own company. And what I enjoy about it is um, I enjoy being my own boss and the creativity and, and all those kinds of things. But I really just, it, it, it to me, it's regardless of what you make for it, because for a long time, you know, there wasn't really any kind of money. We were spending money to do this. But what I, what I really, really enjoyed about it was being me. You know, you can be yourself and do what you do, even though it takes time to build up that audience or build a brand or whatever it is here. I th like this is really me. I mean, you know that you hang out with me, you know, I'm right, crazy, right, 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 right. you know, well, so, yeah, or you can do what you want to do, you know, if you, yeah, I mean, obviously, because you're doing what you do now, you have some responsibilities to other people. So you have to do things, certain things. Yeah. But if you decide that you're going to go off and take a week off and do something, it can all be figured out and you can go. Yeah. But also what like I'm saying, literally, I'm being myself and I'm doing right, this. Right, right, right. And for a long time, it, you know, I made a lot less money than people make who are on welfare. We, I was actually spending uh, tons of money. Lola and I were spending tons of money to do this. And there were lots of people like, I don't understand what you're doing. Oh, it doesn't make yeah. any sense. It's crazy. But the, the reason why I'm saying all of this is to say that you don't have to go work for someone. This is a great time in America to take advantage of who you are, what you really want to do, and better your life, not because of the money. You might make more money from being on welfare, but ultimately it's destroying this. Right. It's making and you if, lazy. Yeah, it's destroying your mind. It's destroying your body, and 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 like and, and slavery is alive when you're on welfare. Sorry, absolutely. And people aren't going to believe this, but if you're in a situation like that, you're really not happy. It's this is not the big part of this for me is not about money or anything like that. It's about being happy because I'm doing what I believe in, 
and what makes me happy to do it right to to be myself so right, right. i mean that's just my pitch to people out there in america that are and going everybody's through got things. different reasons for doing their thing yeah you know. America is a beautiful place, man. All the people in America, for the most part, except for those who want to bring America down, are beautiful people. And if you are who you are and you put it out there in the world the way I the way I do, the way Walter does and lots of other people do, you, you know, you could do OK. It's just it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. But ultimately, it's worth it. So. There's challenges. <laughs> Trust me, there's challenges. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's tough sometimes. But, but yeah. I'm really happy that I do it. I'm happy to know that I'm doing something that I really believe in and I'm fighting for a cause that I believe in and that it's starting to get to a point where people like go, oh, you know. Taking notice of you. Yeah, there's something here and and, um, and it's 100% me and I don't have to wear a freaking suit every day. Because <laughs> I've, wor I've worn suits and all kinds of things for a long time. I was a doorman in New York at one time. <laughs> so I mean, I was not only I was wearing a suit, like a almost a tuxedo kind of thing with a long coat and hat and gloves and all kinds of craziness. Very proper. Yeah, and patent leather shoes and all that. So I'm happy to um, and out in the that. cold and in the rain and probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So lots of birthday shout outs to Lola as I'm going through here. Um, let's see, lots of sure. Um, Enos5000 says, happy birthday to Lola. Lots of sh birthday shout outs. E-Rock says, happy birthday. Jackson Oldman is here. What's going on? Uh, Jolly Roger says, happy 29th birthday to Lola. Okay, <laughs> sure. 29 plus 100. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so there you go. Um, Mike Bryant, he says he's, fi he's feeling sick. Hope you get better. Um, he's not staying. He just stopped in to wish us well and say welcome back. So yeah, a lot of people. I got the moon. Yeah. So someone's singing happy birthday to Lola on there. There's like Lola's getting lots of love. Lots of love. That's cool. And then someone's talking. kal -El's talking about some senator calling Trump a draft dodger. Don't know what that's about. Well, there's all kinds. Yeah. Yeah. I Everybody's got, you know, look, look, if you dig hard enough, everybody's got something you could call somebody when, when you want to call yeah. somebody something. Yeah. Um, Crackbot, sa Crackbot says we need him to stop the stupid ATF ban. Couldn't agree with that more. Um, um, all, all I say to some of this stuff is just be patient a little bit. You got to be patient. Trump, Trump Jr. was at the SHOT Show. He, he didn't come to the SHOT Show just to see guns. I promise you that. So, mm -hmm. and, and. I saw him on Fox after he was on Hannity after the uh, speech. And he mentioned about being at shot and mm -hmm. um, that his father supports the second amendment mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I don't, don't, don't count him out yet. I don't, I, yeah. I have a feeling don't, don't, don't throw the towel in quite yet. Just, yeah. You know. So Kevin Brady wants to know if anyone checked out the Brownells retro AR. Um, I did check it out. Uh, we didn't do a video. I'm probably going to request it. I didn't pick up the AR-10 on display there because I didn't want to. Sometimes those, some places don't want you to be fondling their guns like that. But um, I could have. But um, but I definitely showed an interest in it, and those guys are very excited about it. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we're, we'll get the – there's an AR-10, the 308 version, which is also very – listen, I think these – I think um, there's lots of things going on, people's reaction to this especially since we went crazy and did the whole build up and the whole seventies thing and all that. Um, there's definitely ones in there that I like and we will try to get those in as well as we will try to get in the three Oh eights. Yeah. I and test those out and see what happens. I have, like I said before, I have some retro style AR 15s already. So that's cool. But what really interests me is a 10. I'll see what happens. You can pre-order them right now. They're taking pre-orders on them. So mm. I just had to I'm gonna wait a little bit. Kind of like a new car comes out. Let let a couple other people get it and touch it and play with it. And and then I'll probably do one. So. Yeah. Um, 904 Outdoors wants to know what we feel, what we feel about the Massachusetts pump stock band. We think it's bullshit. <laughs> it's crap. Uh, what are you, what are you going to do? You guys have to fight this in your states. There's right. not, you know, there's not a lot we can do about this from here. You have to fight it in your states and push back against it 
and get out there and, and somebody uh, needs to file a lawsuit. That's what. Needs yeah, to absolutely. Uh, we think all that kind of stuff is bullshit. I don't know where. I, I mean, I know where the NRA is on it, but they could care less. They're trying to pretend it's not going on right now. They could care uh, less. Yeah. So. Um, or they'd be doing something about. It. Yeah, Michael Bender says Trump is Brownells retro. Democrats are the reformors reformation. <laughs> Enough said. I guess Michael Bender doesn't like the reformation. So there you go. We're gonna talk about all of that when we get into. Oh the well, show, I, I don't care for it either, to be honest with you. Oh okay. So you know what? Let's just get into that right now. Well, let's and talk do it then. It. You want my? So how you want to go about it? Thoughts on Shot Show? Yeah, let's go. Let's go into Shot Show. Um. So let's set this up. We were, we were both out there at SHOT Show. You guys had a booth and you spent a lot of time in the booth, but I know you, you do get out and walk around. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, you probably though saw more stuff than me, even though I wasn't in the booth and I didn't get to spend as much time as I did last year as or as I would have liked to with you guys in the booth just because I had meetings and every right. freaking person, you know, like it's one of the things I hate you're, about SHOT Show. When you become a star, look. <laughs> No, it's not that. I, I enjoy people like recognizing me and talking to me and whatever. But it's crazy because everyone wants to make meetings with you at Shot Show, so you can't walk in and go, "Oh, today I'm just going to be on the ground floor walking around," and then tomorrow I'm going to go upstairs. And then no, like you have to go in, ignore everything, and go to this place to meet someone, and then right. you have to go. To, and it makes it really difficult to go from place to place and actually see things. And see what I wanted to. So you probably, I would think, saw I, more than I did. I didn't see as much as I normally do. Normally, I make a point to go out and just walk. I mean, walk, walk, just go. Yeah. And go down the aisles back and forth, and you know, because you'll yeah. see things at places that aren't. Yeah, and we but, tried um, to do that together, and it's still. Didn't. Yeah, it's hard to do. Because <laughs> I, I can't do that in a group. That. That's that's something I do by myself because you can't yeah. do it with a bunch of people. Yeah, that's but, the thing. Uh, I didn't get out as much as I normally do because once mm -hmm. again I had some meetings I went to with some people, <clears throat> um, and we were sometimes kind of busy at the booth too. So, and I wasn't feeling my aside from catching a cold, my uh, lower intestinal tract was just saying to a. Uh, Maybe not run around like crazy, so mm -hmm. I didn't. Uh, I didn't do it as much as I normally do. But okay. I, I think we had a good show, and I don't think numbers were down. And people were saying, "Oh, it's 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 a lot slower than it normally is." And I didn't. I, that that didn't. It didn't look like that to me. Like it was really down. No. Um, and, and I. And another thing, people say we were saying, or I wouldn't say me. People were saying before, you know, about the industry that there's no innovation and there's no this and there's no that. I saw lots of new stuff there. Um, I thought it was new. I mean, um, lots of lots of things from little companies, some stuff from big companies. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess you know, my opinion. I think there's a lot of things still happening. You know, because um, it seemed that way at the show. I mean, yeah. uh, lots of um, when you go on that that place formerly known as the Firearms Blog, they're new. You know, new for shot, new for shot. It was just lift after list after list after list. Mm -hmm. I mean, some th some things were little, some things were big, but there's a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, and some of the stuff is like not necessarily new, but you know, it's, yeah, some it's a well, tactic to well, rehash it. For example, retro, that's what's old is new again. Yes, you know, right. That's the big circle. So right, and but Brownells, you know, to be fair to the people, the, the detractors out there, Brownells was making these parts before, but now they decided to make complete guns. Right. right. So that's the thing about all of this. And there, know, is a, there is a, a commercial demand for the old style parts. Yeah. And if you want to, if you're into collecting guns, you know, here's the opportunity to get into these. I never was really into this stuff before. And when I look at it and I think, oh, some of this old stuff was cool. I know there's people who already know that. Yeah. And that's what's going on here. They have a, an opportunity to capture some some guys who never thought about this like me i'm more into the really pushing the limits kinds of things like uh, bullpups etc um but i do think this kind of stuff is cool it's not necessarily for everyone i know that we've put up some videos and people are arguing about price and things like that and i think that's fair to argue about the you know price what? there's nothing to argue about if you don't like it don't buy it yeah i mean yeah, you, uh, you can still get your 300 dollars ar-15 go get it yeah, or you can you can get the parts and build up your thing. Now let's just stop real quick here for a second. Um, LV Louis Cipher, I think, is trying to find out like what's going on with us coming back live. While we're back live now, and we didn't do oh, it before, 
I think Lola did put this out there that we're coming back on Wednesday, but I don't know if everyone got that message. So what happened was we got back on we got back Saturday night. I, I don't know. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. On, yeah. yeah we, I just go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was saying we got back Saturday night. We don't do it on Sunday anyway. So we would have probably started again on Monday, but we had a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, there's just so much stuff going on. We had a lot of catching up to do. And then we didn't do it yesterday because it was Lola's birthday and we still had catching up to do. So here we are back. We're not totally caught up, but we are. We are when, when you come back from shop, for those who haven't been, okay, it's okay. It's one thing to go and walk around and have fun and go out to eat. and have. We did that one year. My, we and Peggy did it one year. Had a, we had a great time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but when you go and you got to work and you got to get up at 530, then meet downstairs at 630 for go get some breakfast because our hall opened at eight. So you go you go eat, you go, you go to the go to the booth, you set stuff back up, you'll know, get your guns back out because they're locked up and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's eight o'clock. Smiles. Everybody starts. Yeah, everyone's everyone's poor. People, it, it's like a stampede. Oh, in the first morning, it's like they open the law enforcement ballroom in the main hall at eight o'clock, and the rest of the show opens at eight thirty. So everybody floods into law enforcement, and um, but yeah, it's just day of the you know four days of the same thing every day. It's like a routine. I know some people go out, <coughs> go to shows and stuff like that, but a lot of times you get done at the end of the day, you have something to eat, and it's like you know what? I'm just gonna go back to the room and chill, you know, yeah. <laughs> because you don't feel like walking around or even walking on your feet all day. Um, yeah, for those who haven't been, Las Vegas is exceptionally expensive. Especially yeah. along the street, not easy to get around. You got to walk or take a cab or you know Uber or Lyft or something everywhere you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, so, and it's not really that. Ex it's not like the old days where it's you know the lights right down by the street and you know all that stuff where it was old school. Out mm -hmm. in the main drag, it's just it's just main drag and cars and you know. I yeah. guess it's, it's exciting if you've never been, but after a couple times, it's like. And there's other conventions going on at the same time. Right. I believe the concrete convention was going on. Concrete was there. The adult thing, um, the, yeah, the adult thing was starting up when we were leaving. The porn show, the porn show was there, basically. And, then, and there was a couple of other things going on at the same time too. So it yeah. was busy in Vegas. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, LV says he's a uh, he's a major IT veteran. He did uh, Comdex, and he says wow. Comdex uh, uh, Comdex and CEX make. Shot show look like nothing. Oh yeah, the sh uh, CES is huge. <laughs> well, yeah, there's 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 probably there's bigger shows, and I'm not saying there isn't because SEMA's bigger than SEMA's way SEMA's bigger, than, bigger than Shot Show for sure. Right, right, right. But yeah, nevertheless, Shot Show's probably in somewhere in the top ten, but on the lower side. Of right, it's one of the bigger shows size. out there. Yeah, yeah, because there's other stuff going on when it's happening, but it's it's a big busy thing for us. So let's okay, let's try to go through this in an organized, structured okay. way here. Um, you know, just for sake of time and stuff like that. So going through all the stuff, what you did see, um, anything amazing <laughs> that you amazing. saw? Amazing. Yeah. Anything so fantastic. Oh, wait a minute. Wait <laughs> a minute. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is. You already put yours together. Oh, freaking A. Yeah. Why didn't you wait for me? <laughs> look, at it. look, I brought, I Wicked. brought mine here. I are thought we supposed we were to like, are we supposed to like get together and, and yeah, and I thought we were buddies. Man. And, you know. So this, you know what, this is what I was gonna say is amazing too. And Walter has it there. It's uh, no. a toy. It looks like I know, but or a replica, a it miniature is, replica. Oh, speak, yeah, well, it's made out of metal. Mm -hmm. uh, that little thing that fell out there was one of the little. The little brass AK round. rounds. Yeah. It was a round. It was a bullet. Yeah, Go ahead little, and show the people. It's not real, but, you know, obviously. But this Hold thing it up is, so we can see that, so we okay. can see the magazine. Hold it up. Look at that. It's an actual little magazine. And it's made out of steel. It's magnetic. Yeah. Um, it snaps in just like a real... Uh, yep. You got to rock like, it in. You got to rock it in. It clicks in. <laughs> Top cover comes off. The bolt. Yeah, look at that. You can see your recoil spring. Everything is a... <laughs> I know this looks like we're 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 like uh, why are we why you are know, we grown ass men right. playing with toys? But I could go in the safe and get some real ones out. But this thing is freaking awesome. I yes. mean, you know, because, I totally agree with you. And, and the part that really amazes me is 
somebody had to sit and do all the plastic molds and all the dyes to make this metal parts and and do all this stuff and make it all work i don't know how in in the modern day you can afford that but i guess that's because of the chinese yeah, but um, so the company, the company that this is from, guys, just so you know, I know like the packaging of what we're showing says uh, goat guns on it. It's going to get repackaged. Um, this stuff we found at the ATI booth and I'm talking about the ATI that makes gun stocks. They make a lot of rubber and they make hand guards and things like that. There is a video on YouTube on the regular Hank Strange channel that you guys can find. And here's the box of what's in there. This one is for an AK and this one is for an AR. There you go. And they have lots of different ones. If you flip it around, they've got like a Styrog and a bunch of different guns out there. They got a Barrett knockoff. Yeah, yeah. these are basically miniature replicas that you can assemble. It comes in the parts here. And you could assemble them. And then, um, you know, you can have it on your desk and play around with it. So yeah. even if you can't bring these things to work with you. And Walter so, already assembled his. He didn't wait for me. Well, you know, I got back from shot. And, uh, and I think it was, was that on Monday I did it? Well, say first thing, when you come back from the SHOT Show, at least for myself, talking for myself, you don't feel like doing crap, okay, because you just want to sit down and decompress a little bit and think about things. Mm -hmm. So in one of my moments of decompression, I decided to start assembling this. And um, But the funny part is when we went out and picked it up, I was with my son, Will, and he stuck it in his backpack. Mm -hmm. So coming home, I said, Will, he goes, I got the gun thing in my backpack as we're going through TSA. Uh -oh. So, I said, oh, well, and they're waiting for shot show guys. Don't don't uh, uh don't, don't lose my gun. And yeah. so he goes through the thing, and of course they see it in there, and and they pull him aside, and they open <laughs> they open it up, and the guy the guy goes he starts laughing and goes we couldn't tell the scale from the. From, <laughs> And, oh, okay, from look, the x-ray machine. Oh, so it did like a close-up. They were like, oh, shit. <laughs> but, I mean, the bag didn't weigh like seven or eight pounds, you know, because of a gun being in there. Anyways, he got away with it, and they, they let him go and everything. So. Oh, cool. Okay, so yeah, they, yeah. did they um did they at least, like, put on the gloves and <laughs> buy body cavity search? No, no <laughs> rectal inspection, no. Um, but, um, yeah, so I, I got my, my new toy, and I put it together, and I'm, I'm waiting. So you're, you're a fan of this now? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. I, I'm definitely. I'll be getting probably some of the other ones when they when they finally yes. hit the market. So okay, awesome. They're gonna they're gonna repackage it and everything, and it should be coming out soon. Um, just reach out to ATI Gun Stocks. Yeah, pay attention to probably their website or something. You'll yeah, see it. and and I will let you guys know. So that's something that Walter and I both agree that was cool from Shot Show. Um, and I know I know that sounds crazy to people, but what else was <laughs> what else was cool there, man? Um, I went and looked at the new Remington shotgun, the one with the magazine. That interests okay. me. Mm -hmm. um, that's a you no know, decent. I mean, it's not like oh my god, but it's just kind of cool to see. I didn't make it over to see the the Mossberg with the with the double stack magazine. I just didn't get to their booth. Um, okay. Stopped by like you did Kalishnikov USA, and once again Google Googled over the uh, nine millimeter AK. Yeah, um, that is actually. I know right. that it's a proprietary. You got a line on. You got a line on a test sample. Um, I'm trying. I'm okay. trying because so I, I did, go ahead. I, I talked to the guys, the sales guy, or, or one of the guys there, and I asked him. I said, you know, when are they going to see mean, this thing? Yeah, they're in Florida, so yeah. yeah. If but, we have to drive our butts down there, where are they in? Like, are they in Fort Lauderdale? I got, I got, uh, they're, yeah, down that way somewhere. Yeah, yeah, a Boca or something like that. Yeah, but yeah. I, I am going to try to get it. Now, here's a complaint about it that lots of people have, that it's not, it's a proprietary magazine. Oh, stop that shit. Don't stop yeah. that Glock mag stuff. I'm yeah, they fun. told me that it's not going to be expensive. They're going to yeah. sell it. Um, no. It is going to be available. They're making two versions. They're doing a pistol. The pistol doesn't come with a brace because it's like a whole thing, right, it, right. putting the SIG brace on there. So they're going to sell it as a pistol. You can put whatever the hell brace you want on it. And, and the then they have an... Yeah, and, and they do have an SBR version of it. And um, I think I put up a picture of this on Instagram for anyone who's not uh, – who, if you're not following us on Instagram, you should follow us on Instagram. It's just Hank Strange. And I put up a picture there. I think I also put one up on the Big Daddy Guns Instagram as well. It comes with a bag, like a backpack. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I put up a video showing you that you guys what that looks like. When I asked him about it, basically he told me that when they first come out, they're going to go to the big, they're going to be allocated as they call it. So, mm -hmm. you know, only the big guys are going to get them to spend lots of money. 
when they buy a hundred thousand dollars worth of guns at a time mm -hmm. until they become more common. Yeah, Which Michael is, Bender says they're in Delray Beach. Yeah, okay. Delray Beach, yeah. yeah. So that's typical with new stuff like that. The big the big distributors or the big people get them first, and us little guys have to wait till until they become more common. It was the same with Keltec. Keltec did the same thing. Yeah. So um um, someone wants to know if we saw the rifle scope adapter from phone scope. Uh, you I know what? Know. I, I didn't get around. I know they were like giving out a bunch of those, but I, I didn't. That was get probably it. downstairs. I, I usually walk the whole downstairs in the basement, as I call it. Mm -hmm. But this time I only went to certain places at certain times. Yeah. So um, they were those guys were at media day. I just didn't like get around there because because I think they were giving out samples to media folks. To uh, do something with that now before we move on from the ak on the flip side uh, did you go to century and look at the new uh, yes i did draco yes i did the nine and, millimeter um, with the glock and it's mag. glock, glock yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, coming it is. at you i had to see how it all how they did it um I, one thing i like about the uh, klishnikov usa uh, nine millimeter is the receiver is proportional mm -hmm. for the size of the magazine a lot of times you'll see these guys doing ak nine millimeters and they just throw an egg they just throw a mag in the and it keep it the same size and it it yeah. looks kind it, of out of place yeah um aesthetically the kalishnikov looks better it looks like a sub gun yes it, it does. doesn't look like a something else, in between totally so. agreed yeah you're spot on on that one um, but you know the 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 century arms one looks cool it uses no, no they, 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 i didn't so. i didn't take it apart in front of them or anything but i but i it, i wouldn't mind getting one um, just to have it in the collection or the, or the library, as I say. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see if we can get that. We, if, I don't know whether or not we can get any of these things, but we will, you know, we try. Yeah. No, we try I to do what we can do. And I'm get not them. looking for them to give them to me. I'll buy the damn thing, you know. Yeah. But, yeah either um, way. That way I can. We, we try all the ways. I can dissect it if it's mine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We try everything we can do. If we know someone that has one, we try to borrow it. <laughs> you know? Okay. So. Let we, me ask we you try this. to get them to send it to us. We try to buy it if we can right. buy it. Big bar of steel. Mm -hmm. You were at range day. What's up with that? What's up with the uh, the bullpup shotgun from, from w, uh, uh, IWI? From IWI, I actually like it. Now, here's the problem with it. The pictures don't do that thing any kind of justice. Because if you look at the pictures, it looks ugly looks like and box. bigger. Yeah, it looks bigger than it is, and it looks real bulky and all that kind of stuff. But in real life, it's a lot thinner than it looks in the pictures as well as um, it's, I think, like eight pounds unloaded, something like that. So it's not as heavy as it looks it's going to be. Um, and it works, man. It's easy to use. Yeah, yeah, I think the, twist the magazine. Yeah, you just twist it. It's three different feeding tubes, and you can load two of them at the same time, which I like, right? And um, so you can – so one thing about that is you can be shooting, and you can actually – still if you can, if you can somehow do that, you can still pop ones into that tube. You does know, it really had to does it cycle mini shells no i asked them about that uh behind the scenes i didn't do there is a video i put out but i didn't get the answer from the mini shells i asked behind the scenes it does not they tried it does not work with mini shells okay that's so that's, that's too bad so one point still a couple more points for the keltec then yes the keltec does work with it but the thing about this is this is semi-auto yes so that's something that people have wanted for a long time Tavor, um, IWI says they're going to sell this thing for 1300 bucks. That's their retail, so you might, in some cases, get it cheaper than that. Um, that's really not bad. I'm going to get one. Again, how much was the price? 1300 Okay. That's not bad. I'm just listening. That's all. Yeah, I'm just... yeah I, I mean, I'm sure someone out there is going to be like, oh, my God. I, well, it's too I... expensive. Well, <laughs> oh, you agree? Are you agreeing on this, that it's too expensive? I, I, once again, I... I I, I already have something that works, so I guess I, it wouldn't be like, oh, I gotta have it, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> LV <laughs> is not liking it. LV is not loving it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Scott uh, P Puccini says we all know Mac is going to be one of the first guys to get those. Oh, probably, but you know what, Mac? I mean, he's a cool dude, man. He's the first he's, guy to get a lot of stuff. He's he's got the in, you know. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. Also, he. You know, I mean, he 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 gets it however he can get it. Most of the time, he just buys stuff. Right. I right, talked right. to him about a lot of this. Um, well, you're not you're not beholden this so much yeah. if you just buy yeah. it outright. You know. You know, and if you break it, you break it. You know. Yeah. Um. So. 
Let's see what else was the show. So hold on a second. Scott says he doesn't like how you have to hold use your support hand to hold it. And uh, uh, let's see. Um, opt out of gun control wants to know about the 308, the Tavor 7. I did shoot that. I thought I put that. I, that's in the yeah, same I video. I saw that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, not bad. It's a Tavor. It uh, uses 308. Yeah. So if you're one of those people that was out there waiting for that and you're in a state where you can get it, you know, well, where you can legally have it, I think it's not bad. If you're one of those people who've been jonesing for that other one that's been vaporware for so long, and they, I guess they're finally shipping them now. A desert tech, yeah. Why spend? Um, um, you know, desert tech ones, yeah. Same kind of product, right? Same idea. Uh, yeah. Desert anyway. tech is going to be a little bit more expensive. I didn't even like see those guys because I'm burnt out on desert tech. To be honest yeah. with you, I didn't make it down in. The, I know what they're usually in the, one of the side halls, <laughs> and I didn't get yeah. through those halls like that either. So yeah. Chris Illog says, uh, I guess you're going to get the Tavor shotgun before you get the FS2000. <laughs> <laughs> and LV, oh, he's on a rampage. He, oh, says, he says, you're right. I'm, I'm not going to say his words. You're damn, you're damn right. I hate yeah, you're damn right. I mean, <laughs> he says, uh, what does he say? Argo FK Bruno? I don't know. And lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's all. Wait, are you all about the FK Bruno? Is that what's going on? Uh, okay. And uh, Jake Arnold wants to know if we saw the SB Tactical arm brace. No, I didn't see it. All right, let me let me just say something here. The arm braces I've seen, if it's if it's molded rubber stuff, like a lot. No, I have no no hate for SB Tactical, um, but they are mushy when you. And let's be honest. Only, what do you do with this SB? You put this arm brace. You put it up to your shoulder. Yeah. Isn't like, SB Tactical releasing something? I thought they were releasing something else I saw here. Um, it might have. Yeah, it might be something a new version or something, yeah. Um, I didn't no, see it. No, I, I thought they were releasing something that you can drop a, a P320 into. Hold on. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, where did I see this? Yeah, um, here we go. This is from uh, the Firearm blog, and it says uh, – wait, hold on. I did not go by their, their space or wherever they were at, so – who um sb tactical yeah i couldn't i didn't get around there I didn't, um, I didn't get out like i normally do that's the yeah oh they um they had like one of those kiosks which our friend ken from oh, okay. am arms he had a kiosk yeah and yeah. they it says they unveil their latest sba3 brace it is designed to fit onto the end of a carbine buffer tube okay, okay. all right um da -da -da -da. so they they got a new that um they're working on a pdw style brace with manticore arms yeah support that, yeah. for the cz scorpion evo yeah um, i thought you were already doing something like that but yeah we are we are sure we're doing everyone is yeah yeah I, i'm using a tail hook um and they can get a folding one now okay here's the interesting thing so the truly interesting thing at the SB Tactical kiosk was the fire control unit. SB Tactical had it since they are the ones providing the brace for this stock kit. The fire control unit works like the CAA Roni. It uses a SIG P320 and turns it into an SBR. However, what sets the fire control unit apart from a Roni is that you do not insert the whole P320 into the chassis. Rather, you remove the trigger pack out of the P320, which is not a trigger pack. That's the actual chassis. That's a firearm. That is the gun. Um, I don't know who wrote this you put article. put that in the frame. Yeah. I'm not trying to come down on anyone that did this article. Uh, I don't know who did it. Uh, Nicholas C. Um, that is not the, the thing. I don't want to be a stickler about that because I hate it. I hate it when people are sticklers with me about you stuff and I mess up all the time. You. You <laughs> so he says, rather you remove the trigger pack, which is the chassis basically and the gun, right. and insert it into FCU, then install the slide and barrel. While this is a neat concept, it requires you to disassemble a gun, whereas the Roni just requires the whole pistol to be inserted. You can right. quickly uninstall the pistol from a Roni and continue to use it. Not the case with the fire control. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this, though, is what makes these guys using a chassis system. And I didn't see this at the show. But this is what makes a chassis system so damn cool, in my personal opinion. I think that when you use these systems where you have to put the whole gun in, that's incredibly limiting. It's limiting to the design. And if you can just take the chassis, which does have the trigger on it, and drop that in, and then you have a, a barrel and all that kind of stuff, it's really not that difficult to re remove a chassis from a P320. 
you literally clear the gun, you turn the lever down, and you pull out the uh, you pull it out, and then you can pop the chassis out of there, and then you put it into that thing, and you could put it back in, pop it in, and all that kind of stuff. It's ridiculously easy to do, but I think it is game changer in my opinion. I don't know what you think about that. Oh, uh, I didn't okay. see it, so I can't really say for sure, but I, I guess. You know, well, because look, why, why is something like this? If you're going to take out your, if you're going to take your Glock, I don't like the Roni it, thing myself because it's just too big and clunky. Well, here's the thing: if you're just going to drop your Glock into that thing, all you're getting is more stability for your Glock. Right, why not right. just put something on the back of the Glock or whatever and stabilize it? But if you're going to do something like this and you can actually get a longer barrel, maybe do some other things with it, then okay, now it starts making a little bit more sense to me. Okay. And I think okay. people are, I'm not saying that this is that, but I think moving in that direction is good. And it's not just SIG that does this. Um, what is the, the Hudson is is a chat is built around a chassis system as oh, well. Okay. Um, there's a few things. I think um, Pincus was here talking about the Avidity arms gun that he has. Yeah, That's yeah. also built on a chassis system, right, if right, I'm not right, mistaken. Right. So I mean, it's a I, I like that. It's a different way of doing things, um, a different way yeah. to approach it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so hold on a second. Uh, Chris B says full auto Glock in a Roni stock is fun. Um, oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, full auto anything in anything is fun. <laughs> uh, so um, I, totally, I agree with that. You know, I, I'm so, I know you're a bullpup guy. There's a new Turkish shotgun that's a bullpup. The, what is it? The Adler. Where do you see this? That's on the firearms blog. Um, down, oh, down, down. I saw it off the first page, but it's down toward the, okay, further down the page. Um, but anyways, it's a bullpup. Oh, um, semi-auto shotgun, some Adler. It looks interesting. Yeah. It actually looks like a bullpup, you know. Yeah, um, it does. It looks a little. It looks interesting. Yeah, looks I interesting. didn't see it myself. Um, once again, that's. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't see it. Um, yeah. See the KR nine from um, yeah, yeah. Kalashnikov. They says shipping soon. That's what they told me. They've I got hope those so. Ready. But uh, a little, a little heads up. I, I mentioned it to you at the show there. I don't know if you remember or not, but mm -hmm. I'm thinking about maybe doing something like that. So um, I've talked to somebody else in the industry, which I introduced you to. Mm -hmm. um, it's an AK person, and we're kind of talking about doing a, a pistol caliber AK. So. Hey, um, I think uh, you know more is better. Oh yeah, yeah, and and, and one that's true to true to the Kalishnikov form, where it's where the receiver is sized down, where it'll use uh maybe we'll do it in um, with an MP5 mag that actually curves forward. Because mm -hmm. uh, MP5 mags are beginning more and more available, and um, and because the MP5 that's another thing that's going on right now, HK. The HK revolution is taking place again, where everybody's starting to make more people are starting to make and sell the HK pattern guns, like the mm -hmm. MP5s and the MP5Ks, and that whole circles come back around to the right to, to the delayed roller lock, and, yeah. um, and now it's becoming an in thing again. To yeah, and you know what's funny? I haven't put up this video yet, but there was a I can't remember the name of the company right now. But there was a company that I saw at Media Day that's making a clone, uh, HK clone, basically, that's integrally suppressed. Yeah, I think I, I, I've seen that. I see. I didn't you see. You remember it the name of the company? DT something or other. I think. Yeah, um, I have a video on that, guys. I just have to get. I just have to get that edited. The reviews have been good on it so far, but I think the whole the whole thing is all old school suppression. I mean, it's basically. It's, but but well, they're 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 selling. You know, they're making. You can get a clone. Which is not a bad, and the price wasn't horrible. I think it's like thirty five hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, if I know someone's already like complaining about it, but that's relative, not bad for the whole package. Yeah. Yes, because you're talking like this is what these things should really be. Remember, it's a HK. It's <laughs> not an AR fifteen. You must get your nose up. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh, 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 some tea oh, oh, oh. Have HK. Yes. <laughs> you do you get that nose up there pretty good walter but yeah. uh, pip pip and cheerio <laughs> to you my good well, i have a biscuit good please man. yes uh, absolutely yes. <laughs> uh, but anyway do you have any great poupon for my tea 
<laughs> Do but you I'm have any Earl Grey for my cup? <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, so it, it's up. I have to say, it's up the food chain a little higher than than some of yeah. the other guns. So that's why you pay what you pay. Yeah, and they were uh, also doing a bunch of other um, integrally suppressed stuff, and I think that's like next level. Yep. yep. So um, which, we've seen the other integrally suppressed stuff at the show, didn't you? I mean, you saw the Atlas A A K, right? No, I didn't see shit from Atlas. All right. Well, I know why you didn't see it. But no, it's not that. I mean, yeah. I didn't see Atlas. No, they, you know, they but were... also the the Atlas people don't fucking know me anymore. Oh, well, so I, whatever. I saw yeah. the pictures on the on the Facebook and stuff. Right. On the face. Okay. Um. There's that one. I saw another integrally suppressed gun too. That I'm. Oh, there's a there's a freaking lever action gun now. That somebody's doing integrally suppressed. I okay. just saw That's it. That's cool. Yeah. And honestly, like I know too many people that are getting <laughs> not getting whatever they order from Atlas and all that kind of stuff. So okay. Well, I mean, I'm... I I understand the douchery that's coming out of Atlas <laughs> because I can, I can, I get it when people complain to me, I've done stuff in the past right, right, yeah. with them and people complain to me that they've sent them money and never gotten their stuff and all that. Okay. But you know, anyway, those guys are on whatever tirade they're on okay. right now. But I think that integrally suppressed and I know, I know your, your buddies with them. I'm not, well, no, it's not a thing. <laughs> it's, it's not a thing. It's cool. I, I know people. Yes. Yeah. But listen, yeah. ultimately, to me, like the personal stuff doesn't matter. But if you screw the people over, well, I mean, I can. I definitely I, don't like you. I, I, I understand that. <laughs> I understand how that works because I. Anyways, no, yeah. no comment. So can, LV, LV wants to know if integrally suppressed uh, re require the two hundred dollar transfer tax. Oh yes, it does. Yes, it <laughs> does. Um, but you don't have to do two. So yeah, you, dude, if it's integrally suppressed, and it's semi-auto. You get yeah, one. Yeah, if it's if it's if the barrel length that meets, you know, the requirements, then you don't have to get the do the SBR part of that as right. as well. So I actually have um, a gun that Liberty helped me build, the Leonidas, and um, it's it's titanium. The the uh, suppressor part of it is titanium, and we put together a whole upper. I don't know if you've seen this, but I bring I'll bring it in. It is really really nice. I'll bring it in maybe tomorrow or something like that. I've seen in the comments here people mention the Zenith. I'll I'll say a little something about the Zenith guys. I remember I was showing everybody my HK um, MP5K stock. Well, we went over to the Zenith tables and I showed them my MP5 stock, the K mm -hmm. stock that we made for the shot show. Mm -hmm. And those guys were very excited about it. So um, there's a I'm gonna make some more production guns, uh, production stocks. And get them to them, and um, there's a possibility, nothing in in stone yet, that maybe Zenith was going to carry that stock on their guns. So, and I uh, call dibs on all profits. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I think your dividend will be that rate. <laughs> rate, that's, uh, dude. I'll be ha I'll be going to McDonald's in it every day. But what else? <laughs> But uh, we, we, got, we, got, we got, you know, when you go to a booth, and, and, and I'm not bragging or anything, but when you go to a booth and you meet people and you got something cool, the cards start flying. Mm -hmm. I'm the gunsmith. I'm the CEO. I met the CEO of Zenith here in the okay. U.S. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody had to give him their card. You know, I want one oh, of Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah. So No, I think that's cool. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I did, I did spend time in your booth, and I got to personally see the, um, you know, the KES that you guys are making for HK and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's good stuff, man. That's what I would want. Well, everybody, everybody sees it goes, wow. Why didn't it looks like it belongs there? It right. looks like it was that's that's the main thing that it looks like it yeah. came from HK. Yeah, it so. blends in, it's perfect. You know, you want something that's steel. It doesn't look like an, an AR stock on an HK. Yeah, yeah. And you and you've got the option that you can go SBR with it, right. or you can, can go tail, tail hook. hook. Um, are you going to do any, cause, cause what you're making right now is going to be only for tail hook, right? No, we have both. Uh, no, I'm saying, is there going to be one like for the SB tactical brace or any no, of the other braces no, out no, there? No. I, I don't, okay. I don't care for that thing. It's a, oh, okay. it's, it's a piece of mushy rubber, in my opinion. But okay. So you want it to be all metal. All metal. Yeah. It's gotta all be, I, we, we, that's what Zenith has it on some of their guns in their booth and I pick it up and. Okay. Because I my sources, my sources over at Alex Jones tells me that there's lots of stuff up in the ether going on with different companies and, oh, and yeah, yeah, uh, intellectual yeah. property rights and all kinds See, of. The thing about our stuff, I don't know what I I know that there, uh, we've read all the patents, 
and some of the other ones are 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 you know maybe touch it. I I think um the tail hook patent is pretty pretty solid. I mean it's uh, it covers everything. Trust me, we were gonna make a brace of our own, and we looked mm -hmm. all different directions trying different things, and then you look at the patents and go, oh, they yeah. got it there. They've yeah, already covered. They've already covered that, so it couldn't do it. So right, right, yeah. Um, well, so look, I think it's great to have lots of options. I'm, I wouldn't knock the SB Tactical uh, stuff no, either. Mean, I'm going to bring in some stuff to show you guys from SB Tactical. I, I, I talked. I talked to those people, and they wanted to put. They asked me if I was interested in put making a my AR stock with the SB Tactical. But in order to use their stock and their rods and everything else, I would have had to redesign the whole stock, and it would have lost its whole appearance and. Mm -hmm. As we all know, things you must look good. You know, it's better to look good than to feel good. Yeah, it's, it's got to look nice. Need, I, I think we need lots of options in the space. That's okay. my personal opinion. Oh yeah, I know SB Tactical opened up the space, and so they, right, you right, know, right. they were well deserved of lots one, of things that come along with that. One thing about innovative. Zenith, one thing about Zenith though, and the HK market is there's a huge international market, and the international market is not about tail hooks. Or braces or anything. That's straight up stocks and let me guess, they don't have to they don't have, they to, don't have to worry about that bullshit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, that's what I'm thinking about too. Cause I had people from Mexico, I had people from Thailand, very insistent little guys from Thailand wanted to buy my stock. <laughs> it, it, yeah. You sell to me. How much? No, no, you sell to me. No, no, I don't care. No, you sell to me. It's no. like, no, it's not so for sale. <laughs> So you're feeling well. Safety Harbor did very well at the show. Okay, listen, we're going to talk about more stuff that we like. I think, um, was there anything, other things that you like? Because I want to transition a little bit into stuff we didn't like. What, what did you see that you didn't like? Were there things that you just thought, this is batshit crazy or the same old? I know some people were talking about the Reformation. Um, okay, let's talk about that, yeah. Okay, go ahead. What do you that's think our, about that's the Reformation? a big boy's dart gun. A big <laughs> It's a big it's boy's a, dart gun. Why? True. I mean, it's 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 lands and grooves. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So you're gonna. I don't even. So know the only I... the only thing that they did different on the Reformation is that the barrel is lands and grooves. It's so just straight straight rifling. That's all it is. Let's get yeah. like, it fancy. Straight and, rifling. Yeah. So you get four MOA out of it. Because um, legally, legally, you cannot make a smooth bore rifle. It has to have something that marks the cartridge. So if it ever they find it, oh yeah, that came out of X gun. Okay. You know, right. uh, 1932 Firearms Control Act. Took away all that smoothbore rifle stuff. Okay. Um, how much is the ammo going to cost? I don't know because what they're saying is to to give better accuracy, they're going to make their own ammo. If they're making it, that's going to be something. If you get other people to make it, maybe the price goes down. But why <laughs> wouldn't you just why wouldn't you just put a SB tactical brace on there, which is what a lot of people say. Um, so here's what I think. Look, I think it's good when people push the boundaries and try it's to create new it's categories it's and all that and it's all good but for me but the truth of the matter is you can just put a uh something that's um that's got rifling in it and then put an sb tactical brace on there or a tail hook or what have you and you're still good to go um how much is it i can't remember what it how much it, it is right now yeah it's if you get the whole gun they're going to sell like where you can get the uppers or barrels and, and things so why like not if, if you're so insistent on having a small gun just do an sbr you can do an SBR or you can make a pistol. But I gotta have it. I gotta have yeah. it today. Or you can have this. I don't know what's gonna exactly happen. One of the things that I thought that was interesting is they really went out of their way. Like they said, oh, they went out of their way to like um um how's what's the best way to put it? Make click a party? Bait, no, <laughs> clickbait the living crap out oh. of media at oh, Shot yeah. Show because yeah. I oh, thought yeah. they were gonna have this conversation with us on um at Media Day on the range, but then they were like, No, you're only gonna get to shoot it. Then you have to come tomorrow to the booth, which I understand, you know, like they Donald, they Donald Trump, all you all the media. Yeah, they're trying to get people to go, which I went later on in the day. <laughs> I, I knew there was like some they wanted everyone go in there at eight or thir eight thirty in the morning or whatever. And I think I had meetings anyway, but I wound up I wound up going there later. And then they told me and it's not my reaction, you know, because they make the stuff. I'm in the business of exposing what companies make to my audience. And then the right. audience decides, okay, this is cool. This sucks. Usually it's half and half. Sometimes the audience really loves something and really hates it. I think in this case, we can safely say lots of people hate it. I, speaking of that, okay. 
Now we're gonna we're gonna do the, just we're gonna play this game love hate thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's silly. Okay, that's my opinion. You can like like me or dislike it. Let's mm -hmm. go to the folding Glock. Okay, folding Glock. Now okay. everybody hates that thing. They know what the hell do you need that for? That's just silly. It's expensive. Blah 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 blah. They've never seen it. Right. They've never touched it. They've never seen it. They've never been within a thousand miles of it. Now, yeah, when you now hold you, it, you, you hold went. It, you, you actually. We went together to the yeah. booth to look at this thing. Okay, what do you think? So when you hold it in your hands and you actually see how it's made, which I look at things to see how it's made because I make things, and how it opens up and all that stuff, and it is kind of cool because I know you don't like it, but not you, but other people. But it does fold up in a nice compact thing, and you could put that in a case like he did that he showed us. It looks like for a Game Boy or something. Yeah, or a hard drive. And you could have that sitting on the on your restaurant table, and nobody knows what you got. Mm -hmm. It's not in a holster. It's not in a big, you know, tactical looking bag or something. You know, it could be sitting there next to you between you and your wife, and you could have the, the whole time. Nobody even know. Yeah. Now, guess what? Today, because now you met my friend Jesse James at the show, right? Yeah. 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 Um, he's our like director of cool shit or something. I can I can't remember his title. He's a propaganda minister. Yeah. Assistant. <laughs> yeah. He's the uh, head man in charge of getting whatever's cool around here, or or telling us what he thinks is cool. And he is he's he's you know I like him. He um he actually got one of those today or yesterday or something. Okay. So I went to shoot it today. Oh, how we was actually it? we actually went to the hacienda. I'm gonna put a video together. You flip uh, it and shoot. No, I didn't do all of that stuff. I think it takes time to figure out how to take it out and like flip it out and all that kind of stuff that that you saw the guy doing in the video. You've got to figure out the mechanics of that. That's not my attraction to it because if I <laughs> if you get into a situation where you have to save your life, you don't have time to razzle dazzle your enemy, you know, with your ninja skills of flipping something out. Now, it's shot like a Glock. Yeah, because you know, it is a Glock. Yeah, that's what I expect. Um, this is just a little preview of what's going to happen. I think the sights might have been off a little bit, which that's fixable, as you know, as things are. But basically, these guys buy a Glock, cutting it in half. That's why this is so expensive. I know people are complaining about the price, but they're not going to be able to sell it to you for the price of a Glock. They make they the hinge to... pieces. They assemble all that stuff. And it's well made, as Walter's yeah. saying. So that worked. And we shot it and the stuff, you know, all of the stuff that they say works, like with the safety when it's folded, you can't shoot it and all of that. That All of that works. Um, my opinion, what I think about it is this. I think it's a good backup thing to have somewhere and you can tuck it into, you know, obviously you can have a pouch or something that you have another gun in, but you could tuck this into a really small space or a smaller backpack. And even if someone gets their hands on it, they're going to have to think a minute to set it up or whatever, but you you can even have it in your pocket if you have cargo pants or right. even um, regular pants on, depending on which magazine you're using. And one of the things about this is you can go up to like 33 round magazines yeah. in some yeah. cases. So I think for that reason, it's something cool, but I would have it as a backup, not my immediate thing. And maybe on like, you know, a different side, like the left side of my body. If something happened with my my regular EDC that I'm carrying, then I've got a backup for it. I really, the one that we had that we were checking out was the Glock 19 one. I would probably try to get my hands on the... Uh, the 43? Yeah, the 43, I think, because when you fold that, you can have like a Glock 17 magazine, not a Glock 17 magazine, um... I think, you know, they make like longer magazines. 12-rounder. Yeah, I think 12 it's rounder. a 12-rounder. So one of the things I saw that was cool was the P365, which we can get to talking oh, about. Okay. But you can have that same capacity in this little thing that's smaller than your cell phone, and it could be right. in your pocket, and it's a backup. Right, right, right. You know, right. but it's just that. To me, it's a tool. It, you know, you right. don't have to I, have it. I I wanted to I think about get one just because, not to say anything bad about them, but if they're not around very long, I have one. Okay, and so far as collecting something, collectible, and, yeah, right, right. Yeah. You know, because you've said that about some guns, yeah. That yeah, it's just because it's kind of collectible, you know. Yeah. And, what is it going to cost for you? I'm not. This is not for everyone, so I'm not trying. I I am no, never no. trying to make anyone buy any damn gun. Nope. Okay. Um, what I'm trying to do is expose stuff to you. What would it cost you to buy a Glock, 
five, six hundred bucks, right? Whatever. And start okay. hacking on it? Yeah. Then you gotta chop your Glock in half. <laughs> Then you've got to go to Home Depot or wherever the hell you're going to go to get the mechanism. They just didn't make the frame that allows you to fold it new. They made the trigger and everything is a whole new trigger. Right. You wouldn't be most person. Most people would not be able to figure it out. Period. Done. Yeah, and they made a decent trigger pull on there because you cannot replace that. So yeah. you know, I think it has the cool factor behind it. Oh yeah, definitely. but no, you don't. You don't have to buy it. No, nope. for anyone out there, it's who, just another option for. For people that probably have a more expendable income than others. Yeah. Period. yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Jumpy Killer QX says 10 millimeter for life. <laughs> well. Um, um, so, so yeah. And, and uh, LV Louis Cypher says, and if Mac likes the FK Bruno with him being a fellow 10 millimeter aficionado, <laughs> I have three. Ten. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I went over. I, was, I went over to the European American Army booth. I had this ten millimeter I saw in the front of that magazine that I showed you guys before. This yeah. one. Yeah, and Brian Quick says I can carry a Glock twenty six on my ankle that takes all the mags, and I don't need to do the tango to get the thing into action. I agree with you. You don't need it. It's really, it's really easy to be honest. Guess with what, you, dude? I do not lead need a Ferrari, but I will totally freaking drive. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I will drive the living day. Let me let me fix that. If you can afford it. Get it. Yeah. If you can't yeah. afford it, well, then get what you can afford. I mean, that's, you know. Yeah. Now, we saw Did you see the P365? No, I did, I did not. No. Yeah. And I handled it, and there's a 12-round there's a twelve round version. And, yeah, I get it why everyone's excited about that's the cool. P365. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I think, I think it is cool. It's a cool thing based on the capacity that so we have. So, here we go. We're talking about innovation. No, There's no innovation. Nah, 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 nah. I've heard that from people. Mac was one of them. And it's like, yes, there is. There's lots of little things out there. There's not like this where the whole booth is everything is new, but there's lots of little things out there. So, yeah. Um, I don't. Okay. I don't know if a P365 is a high level of innovation. <laughs> you know, it's just a 12 round single stack magazine. That's all. That's yeah. All. It's not a high level of innovation. Have, have, um, have they, they done they, that before? No. I don't, I don't know, but I don't know why. But, well, but yeah. they're doing it because other people are doing it. That's why they're doing it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, now, did that, we see anything that was high levels of innovation? Did we see? What did uh, we see that well, we nothing, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I guess it all depends on your, what you call innovation. I, I don't know. I didn't get around, like I said, normally as much as I do to see some of the smaller booths and even some of the bigger ones. I didn't make it to them because I just, it always turned out there was something to do. Um, yeah, I was trying to look around for different things. Now, um, did you now did you see that the new frontier had the uh, what they call the C five? It's an MP five style magazine, lower and upper receivers in nine millimeter. Uh, yes, I saw. I, I saw that on the internet. I didn't see it in person. Yeah, so that's um, I saw it behind glass. And let me see if I could. Uh, Circle Ten's doing that too. Yeah, I don't know if I can lock the camera and that's, here on and me, but they, oh, where, which camera am I going to? Right there. there. You go. there you so go. that's basically what it looks like. That's good, right there. Yeah. So what you can do is you can you get an upper and lower that is designed for the MP5 magazine. What is that? Is it does it have a special name? The MP5 no, it's magazine. An MP5 mag. Okay. Yeah, which, like you said, aesthetically, right? That's what you said earlier. It looks like a subgun mag. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I, I, it's going to be like, I think the upper and lower combo, 200 bucks or something. Oh, that's, that's I'm, not, I'm not 100. Wait, let me see. That, that might be a little be. more than that. Um, but once again, it's running with yeah, that. Yeah, it says MSRP 169.99. For the upper and lower or just the lower? Um, lower and upper receivers. Holy I don't know if that's. If that's for the combo, <laughs> I'm in. Just just buy those. I, right, yeah, no sense. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in. Yeah. Uh, we got we're going to have to check on that. Um no, oh, what we saw over at the um ATI booth, not ATI, but um, Oh, yes. Now, the American, Megadapter. The Megadapter. Yeah, American Tactical, which is ATI because they're technically American Tactical Imports. Import, yes. And those two companies keep getting mixed up, not the guys who are Different the from the people. guys who are going to do this, the the toy. Yeah, These, the um, yeah, they're not the uh, gun stock guys. They are the import guys. They have a mag adapter, which I have a video that's up. If you're a Patreon, you can see that video right now. I'm going to turn it on in a whole bunch of other places. I got to talk to Lola about that probably tonight or tomorrow. This is a Glock magazine mag adapter that just goes up into the magazine well and turns your of an AR-15. 
of an AR-15 and turns it, you can now use Glock magazines and get locked back. It's pretty neat. Yeah. I like that. I thought that was a little bit of innovation. Maybe that was medium amounts of innovation. They, they, they filled the they filled the need. That's cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, it's a little pricey, in my opinion, but it filled the need. Yeah, it's pricey because I'm sure people are going to say this is just a piece of metal and plastic. Mm -hmm. Why is it? I don't know what it's going to be. I think it's going to maybe be like two hundred bucks or something. I think it's got one sixty nine something like that. Yeah, the same the same price as this upper lower. Low. Lower. But maybe. And and when it gets again, these these MP five lowers are all a result of all these new MP fives coming on the market, and mm -hmm. the availability of relatively inexpensive MP five magazines. So. Yeah, you know. but but this now you can adapt your lower, and so all you need to do is get a barrel, and you're freaking golden. Yeah, you're golden, so you, man. I mean, yeah, if you've already got an upper and lower combo, which I I freaking collect upper lowers, <laughs> you know, you could do this now. I don't know in in demonstration, which I'm gonna put up a video. It's a really short. I think it's like a minute long. I'm gonna put up the video of these guys doing this. Um, you know, we don't know whether or not this is going to work practically until we actually get it and we take it out into the wild and shoot it and all that. But if it does work, it's yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. and maybe yeah. they'll do other calibers too. Who knows? So yeah, um, so, like, like as soon as I mentioned doing a, a forty uh, an AK pistol, everybody jumps to forty five caliber. I'm like, yeah. oh. um, everybody wants a, a forty five ACP. 45 this, 45 that. I'm like, oh, it, it, what? I guess I guess I'm not I'm not enthralled with 45. I, I it doesn't. It's um, some people have reasons why they like it. Some people it, like it for suppressing. Yeah, suppress is nice. Yeah, and and things like that. So um, it just when when you get larger with that caliber, everything else has to grow proportionally to make it all work. So it'd be it, you'd have to have a whole new set of some parts to do the. Yeah. The, the, I'm thinking on a manufacturer's kind of thing. So. Yeah. Um, what else? Let's see what else was there. It was cool. Oh, actually, at the ATI booth again, they they'd made a big uh, to do about them actually having a folding stock for their for their nine millimeter um, MP40 knockoff. That was uh, one of their new things. Yeah. So you, so you, you can SBR you your. That? I didn't look at it close. I mean, it's a stock. It's just basically a. You knock out the plug in. The, uh -huh. I get it. <laughs> you knock out the plug in the pistol, and you put the folding stock on it, and turn it into an SBR. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have been waiting for that. So now, so someone had a question here. I'm trying to see. Um, Brian Quick says, "I keep hearing nine millimeter AR-15s are not as reliable as the roller lock style of nine millimeter subguns." So, um, what do you think? They're straight blowback. My opinion on on the AR ones. Yeah, I take a I take a HK blow style blowback thing. I mean, a roller lock any day. That's just, you know, but you know what? The AR ones work, you know, I mean, um, the one I had from Palmetto State Armory works fine. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little gnarly at full auto, but I got to do a little, that's because I modified yeah. it a little. But, yeah. I think ultimately it comes down to personal preference. Yeah. I know that when I shoot those kinds of things, they are way cool. The, the, the AR 15 versions are cool too, but I yeah. think probably HK style and all that is way cooler. And now remember, um, remember, six hundred something dollars, twelve, fifteen hundred, <laughs> nine, two thousand, so, three thousand. So if you're not willing to get past that six hundred dollar price point, yeah. you're gonna be, you're not going to an HK. Yeah. So so now I want to um, and Lola just reminded me. So I want to talk about this whole thing that happened at Turan Tactical. Um, I don't happened? know if you heard about that. What happened? Um, we can, let me see, I'm scrolling up so I can get the stuff. But before we get into that, was there anything that you saw that you thought was horrible or insane, or you don't understand why people are all caught up in it or <laughs> what did you hate? What did you hate? That's no, what I, uh, well, no, I mean, I kind of think about that with that, with the, the Franklin Armory thing. I think it's kind of just a, it's a good way to get a lot of attention. Um, Greg 98K said, make an AK in 7.62 by 25 torque rev. That's actually the first one we're going to do. So stay tuned. That's one of awesome. my favorite. That's one of my favorite calibers. That thing freaking kicks ass. Yeah. 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 That's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm, I know that we didn't talk a lot about that, but I'm excited for that. But we have plenty of time that, that we can talk about. Evolved. We're not even, we don't yeah. even have anything. Yeah. Let's get some plans. Let's start, you know, I mean, yeah, so yeah. many it's things. Gonna, that I'm, can just, I'm just, 
just kind of Walter wet. all of a sudden has to start getting new CNC machines and hiring people to make this freaking KES talk. <laughs> I oh well oh the HK the HK one don't laugh about that. I, I I got I got feelings about that. So um like I said I talked today from one of the guys from Zenith. I don't know if I said that. He called us, he called us and just wanted to see if anybody had been in contact with us yet. And I said, No, not yet. And I said, He goes, Well, bingo, I'm the first one. And um, so yeah, it's gonna happen. So Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's see any craziness. Um Oh, by the way, too, we're gonna make that for the as they call the the reverse stretch or the standard MP5. Mm -hmm. The the HK uh, MP5K slides into the receiver. The normal MP5 goes over the outside of the receiver. So it's a little yeah. different, but we're gonna do that also because they're yeah. asking about that too. So yeah, shout out to Tyvin. Tyvin's in the house. Tyvin, what's up, Tyvin Show? Um, yeah. you know, by the way, I don't know. I'm not saying this is ridiculous because I'm trying to find something before we go talk about what happened with Turan Tactical. If you guys haven't had a chance, we're gonna talk about this here in a second. Um, basically, if you look at the um, truth about guns, let me see if I could put this article. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's um, yeah, let me put this in oh, the I chat. See actually, I didn't see it at the show, but I guess Zenith's got a three hundred blackout. Um, um, so look in the chat, Walter, and let me see if I can okay. post this right. uh, here in this chat, so you guys can look at it. Well, I'm trying to think of what was ridiculous or what wasn't like worth our time <laughs> or. or <laughs> <laughs> this girl said this shit yeah okay i guess we're just going over to this because we can't really think of anything that was really crazy <laughs> she's so a three gun shooter and she <laughs> i don't know what kind of three gun shooter she is i maybe, think that maybe she takes a three gun i don't know <laughs> i don't know um so basically the 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 um headline here here is taran tactical sponsored shooter government sh says this is her words government should take away our guns to make us safer so what happened um so they the fire yes Terran butler is one of the world's best three gun shooters i've met him i've done some stuff with him i like him i know there's people out there that don't like him um and maybe he tends to have like you know go in the direction of getting a lot of hot chicks or whatever oh, involved in the mix i can't that's i don't blame him for that i'm i'm for that's that a guy in that front picture no that's a girl oh so yeah so no Terran butler is the guy did you okay have you seen john wick I've seen I, I've seen the training parts from that. I didn't see the movie. Okay, itself, so but. Taran Butler is the is the is the guy who owns the school that that um, <laughs> that he went to. Okay, right? Keanu Reeves went there, there to yes. train to shoot like that in John Wick. I think that Will Smith went there. Lots of people go there. Right. Um, you know, he's got lots of cool stuff going on. I have a video called Gun Fu. You can see me talking to Taran Butler. Okay. I, I personally. Um, don't have any issues with him. I know some people do, and this particular case, some people are taking that out on him. But what happened here is there's this woman who he put her on the team. She obviously in this picture has a Terran Tactical shirt on, and so it says here. I'm going to read the article. Terran Butler is one of the world's best three gun shooters. He turned his experience and ex expertise into a profitable co profitable company, training for individuals and movie stars like Keanu Reeves as well as marketing competition focused gear and Terran Butler licensed firearms. While he's made his fortune thanks to the support of Second Amendment loving gun owners, one of his sponsored shooters, Rochelle Hathaway, believes no one should be allowed to own more than three firearms and the government should take away our guns for our own good. From a Glamour magazine article where they asked a number of women at SHOT Show about their opinions on guns, what would you, what do you say to people who question the value of a private citizen owning a gun? Her answer, I think that if there were less guns, there would be less shootings, period. If the government came in and decided to take the guns away, I wouldn't be mad about it. I think it's important to be able to feel safe in your home, but you don't need more than three guns. You don't need to own a semi-automatic weapon or a silencer. Okay. What the she, hell kind of guns is she even? So I don't know who this is. I don't. I've never heard of her. But people always get mad at me at Shot Show and other places because I have no freaking clue who all all these three guns are. It doesn't mean anything to me. It I could give two shits about I three gun either. and all yeah. the stuff, but I'm not knocking it. I know there's three gun people out there and they love it. I don't care, but I think that you know, I if somebody is representing somebody's company that makes their living shooting guns, they shouldn't be shooting their mouth off like that. Period. Yes, and um, I don't know how deep she was in all of this because she doesn't even. 
from, from this response, if this is truthful, no. I think the end result of this, a lot of people came down on Taran Butler and um, they fired her and severed um, a, their relationship with her. Um, if you go, if you're going to Shot Show and people ask you these kinds of questions, you would think if you were a gun person who believed in the Second Amendment, you would be able to answer this, you know, at least to the rest of our satisfaction. This is the way it goes a lot of times, man. I think that I've said this before when other issues come up that I think that a lot of these companies, these guys included, don't take the time to really dig in. And this has nothing to do with it being a woman or her being whether she's attractive or not. No. You know, but they just don't take the time to really think about who they're dealing with. And lots of times they pass over other people who are stauncher, um, you know, supporters of the Second Amendment. And people really just, in my personal opinion, put too much on competitive shooters and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And they just overlook the whole thing. I am not against competitive shooting. Nope. It's all good. I believe in like guns for hunting, sport, defense. Uh, just for the freaking fun of it or just collecting at it. it. Yeah, or whatever the hell you want to do. But I think that people, not just him, and I don't think we should like tear him apart because he did it, but lots of people are not taking the freaking time to vet who the hell gets out there and says stuff. For who them. represents them? Yes. I mean, That's happening a, a lot. You could be the coolest shooter in the world, but if you don't got anything between the two tops, you know, between the two yeah. ears. Yeah, but I mean, ultimately, these are tools. So if you have these tools and you use them and you look good doing it and you satisfy the, the demographics of here's a female shooter and people are happy about it, that does not mean that you're really down with the business. Know, yeah, that so, you're really a ride or die or whatever. With because it is a business, because if you're representing me and the crap you say is going to affect my business. One, two, three structure out at the old ball yeah. game. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if you're getting you can to be three strikes. the best hottest thing on the planet. Hasta la vista, baby. You're out of here. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to enter three strikes. She obviously didn't get to it. I don't think she was fully down with this. And this happens every year. At Sha you know what's crazy about SHOT Show? For me to go there, for Lola and myself to go there, we have to jump through so many hoops to go to right. SHOT Show and do all kinds of things to get into SHOT Show. And then they let the media come in there who these people every single year, they catch someone's ass out there that, you know, they like, come on in media, talk to. And all they're doing there is trying to trap us. Do you notice that? They don't talk to dudes like me and you. Oh, yeah. You know? Come talk to me. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. They're always trying to catch someone out there. They always catch out some executive for some company talking shit. I yeah, think yeah. last year there was an executive that said he's OK with. Uh, some kind of gun laws or you know there's always right, someone right, right, that right. gets busted out there so this yeah. is just the latest thing and, and by the way everybody las vegas is still real uh, las vegas um, you know there are things going on at different hotels to look for guns my um my sister who you met hank told us that at the mm -hmm. wind that they they don't let people stay at the hotel take their bags up everything is mm -hmm. going through an x-ray machine everyone who stays at the wind Everybody's bags are being x-rayed. Oh, yep. fuck those guys. I wouldn't stay there. Well, I mean, that's that's covering their ass is what they're doing. No, I get it. But, you know, I just wouldn't. Stay I thought there. it was going like, to be. That's a a like, how many times does my privacy have to be violated here? <laughs> you know, why the hell? You know, why do we have to x-ray my shit? Oh, because before it goes up. If, if I, why do I have on to take my air? Why do I have to take my shoes off at the airport still? Yeah, listen, I'm against that, man. That's a bunch of. <laughs> I think it's nonsense. I'm against it. You know, I think we need to get rid of that. And the, we, for we the most every, part, people when we turn everybody into a criminal, when we start doing that. Imagine that. You know, I know some people are driving up there. I've driven up there myself. But imagine you're going through all the crap that you have to go through to fly out to Vegas, and then you get there and you just want to go to your hotel room, take your shoes off, <laughs> take a hot shower, get some booty or whatever the hell it is yeah. you do. Yeah. And first, you got to get your bag X-rayed one more again. Oh. Like, what the hell is that all about? You know, mm, that's, that's I wouldn't I just wouldn't stay there. You know, I don't know why we're even doing shot show still in Las Vegas. I wish we would. just. Well, that's it. it's all about the money, man. It's all yeah. about the money. Yeah. So, um, be nice. If it was back in Orlando every once in a while. Yeah. Um, LV Louis Cypher, who is our resident Las Vegas expert, says the wind properties also discriminates against people in um, people on wheels, wheelchairs and scooters unless they're staying there. 
So there you go. I had a comment on that one. I don't know, but I have a, I have an ins. Yeah. I do have a, a source on the, on the x-ray thing. So, um, mm -hmm. that's what's going on with that. So, yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, let's see. I don't know what other business we have going let's on see. here. Um, I want to remind everyone we've got over a hundred people watching the show right now live. Thank you guys uh, yeah. very much. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate yeah. it. If you haven't thumbs up, please do click the thumbs ups. This is going to be the permanent location of the podcast from now on. So uh, I don't know what, what happened with YouTube. I have to look into it to see what they what happened with our strike. We could tested it and blah, blah, blah. And so I don't know if they if we still can't broadcast live from there or not. That doesn't really matter. We're just going to do the podcast from here on out. So I, I'm asking everyone that's watching this, whether it's live now or later on, to subscribe because uh, we need to get to a thousand subscribers here so that we could, uh, you know, unlock some Pokemon points or whatever the <laughs> hell you have to go through around here now, you know, <laughs> so please subscribe and all that kind of stuff and go through and look at all the videos. I'll try to put some other videos over here so we can get all that stuff going that we have to do. Um, rest assured that I'm working on this behind the scenes. It's something that I'm working on so that not just myself, but other people that are creating content don't have to keep going through this crap. Yep, yep, yep. You know, we're trying to do something about that and stay I'm working tuned. on it. Yeah, stay tuned for that. We're gonna bring some stuff to you. Um, I also wanna remind people, this is not exactly the end right now. We still got a couple of minutes. I wanna remind you guys about Survival Dispatch. Yep. Okay. That's something that we're involved in and in the description, there's a link where you can get a trial for this, I think for like 14 days or something like that, a free trial for Survival Dispatch. If you're into, you know, survival, there's some really good pointers in there. One of the things, and it's like a insiders, you get insider access. One of the things that um, recently was done on there, and I have it here, it's about how to take a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi or whatever, soda pop bottle and turn it into a, a mask. Uh, into a mask and all that kind of stuff that goes on your face, etc. I'm not going to actually put it on my face because John from Survival Dispatch has it on his face. <laughs> but there's lots of cool stuff like that. I think that's really cool. I saw him here while they were producing it, and I thought it was cool. And I was like, hey, man, leave that so I can use it as a prop. So there's lots of cool things like that in there. Maybe I know there's somebody out there that was like, I've been known about that since I was five years old. Okay. <laughs> Well, every, every, everybody doesn't wear tinfoil in their hair, head either. So Congratulations <laughs> to you. I didn't know about it. I actually saw John doing that, and I thought it's really cool. Okay. And they have lots of things like that in there. Um, and there's a bunch of other guys that you people, you will see people like Such and other dudes out there talking about Survival Dispatch. So in, the, uh, dis in our description here is your opportunity to find out about that, and you can you know, click through that link and have access to it for a limited amount of time, as well as we've got a bunch of other links that are there to, you know, if you guys are looking to buy right. things, you can go through those links that we have and it does help support what we're doing here. So, you know, as well as it gives you, you know, there's various different breaks and things like that going on there that Lola's always working on. What were you going to say, Walter? No, I'm one of the, uh, one of the guys in the chat said that the link wasn't working, but I don't know. Oh, the link, uh, Lola. I think someone said there's something up with that link. So check. Can you check on that? Which link? Uh, which link? The survival dispatch one? After you said that, yeah. Oh, okay, Lola. Can you check the survival dispatch link for me? Okay. Yeah, I don't. Okay, we'll check on that and see what's going on. And I'll put this up on my other social media, you guys. Um, I don't know what's up with it right now. So we'll get Lola to check. Yeah, while we were that. while we were at Shot Show, we came back and our site was, our bandwidth had been exceeded. So somebody's looking at the stuff, trying to see stuff. Yeah, Which no, that's good. cool. Which yeah, absolutely. Good. And if you guys are looking for the for the iTunes thing, I've prepared them, but we're doing reconstruction on our website, and uh, something happened to it. So that so that's why I don't know if the iTunes were able to go up. I don't think so. So I'm working on that right now because we're actually we're actually rebuilding the website a little bit, Walter. Because I'm going to be doing some cool stuff here through uh, the website. Through yep. HankStrange.com. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Yeah. So that's how I usually put up the iTunes. I post it on there as a blog, and then it goes to iTunes. But I think because of the construction that we have going on there, it hasn't gone up. But it is on Podbean. So if you're looking for it and you cannot get it, go to Podbean, and they're all there. Um, Everything's there on Podbean, um, but it may not have made it to iTunes yet. I've got to look into that and figure that out. What's this? Oh, Patches.
This is just one bag of the pet swag from the show, from mm -hmm. Shot. One of the ones I like the most is this one's kind of cool. Wow. Stays on something flights. What happens Janet, on Janet, Janet, flights. Janet flights? Yeah, Area 51. <laughs> the flights. The air, the, That's cool. The, Where'd you get that from? Uh, one of the, guy, the guy that makes these for the people that fly it, that do that, um, supposedly. Um, let's see. Here's another one that a lot of people have decided they that they'd like to get their hands on. Oh, yeah. I like that. Who? Which company is that from? I think I have yeah, one of those. This is from... Um, um, oh, God. They make it, they make a lot of AR stuff. Um, it'll come to me in a second here. I'm thinking about it. Of course, we all we all know what happens after the shot show. Everybody, a lot of people go over to Crazy Horse. Double star. Double double star. Double star. Oh, is that, is that where you go? No one told me about this. Uh, crazy Horse. There. I've never been there, but it's a cool patch, you know. Is that a? It's like a brothel. That's a strip club. Oh, strip club. <laughs> a strip club. Okay. I didn't know. Is that is that the hot strip club in Vegas? Yeah, that's probably one of them. They had a cool patch anyways. And of course. I try to stay away from strip clubs because every time I go there, I get in trouble <laughs> for stuff I didn't do. <laughs> you get accused of doing things. Yeah, I get I get into some kind of trouble for something I had no business in. Oh, look at that patch. Right Big Daddy. There. Big Daddy guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of them. There's a bunch more coming in the... Uh, in the container coming back from the shot show. Yeah, so. and you actually got to meet in person Tony from Big Daddy Guns, right? Big Daddy himself, and he placed an yeah. order, bought some of my stuff. So very cool. So we yeah. will see those in the stores. Oh, yes. by the way, before I forget, we went to Rifle Dynamics. Oh, you know, um, yeah, I'm pissed. Because well, yeah, what happened to you, Walter? All right, here, here we, we get them. Okay, the show ends at five thirty. So Hank had already took an, taken off to go over there. We get done. We close our stuff up. We get out to get a, a Lyft or an Uber at that place at the Venetian where you get it at. And my phone, which cannot, is a nightmare, which is my a phone could not get a signal for either one of them. I could not finish the connection. I'm standing there. You're the only person with a phone. What do you mean? Wasn't someone who was with you? No, but they don't have the app on their phone. Oh, here's what you do. Um, there's this thing that the Egyptians invented <laughs> called the App Store. So I, they, I, they buy, they download the app for free. That's not my, they, no, no, not my job. Oh, so <laughs> okay. So, so I could not, I could not get it, and the time was ticking away. And I was like, I wasn't going to ride twenty minutes out to that place for five minutes of, of gathering, and then go back. Oh, so we no, just, I, went, I just yeah. got fresh and We went and had some dinner. So okay. Okay. Well, I, really, I really want to come out and see it. Was it any different than from, from, from yeah, before? Yeah, they showed us. They, they've opened up the parts of the shop. Um, the, the, it, it's not some like big company or something like that that they're working with. can't remember the name of the guy right now, but it's a friend of um, of Jim Fuller's. And, um, you know, they're business partners now. And that's allowed them to expand the shop and hire some people and get the production up. And we're going to see guns coming out from what they say in a shorter time period we're going to try to get some here in in uh, big daddy guns and and try to carry some things i don't know if there's anything specific that you're looking for from there but when they do come in the store i'll share with you guys whatever comes in and you know what we think about it and all that kind of stuff so right um, you know yeah. there's no longer going to be that like two year waiting <laughs> for a rifle dynamics anymore from what i hear so well that's good that's good yeah yeah that's good well yeah and then after that night my app access to seemed to work fine so i i don't know what what was going on i think maybe it was a, like a cia plot or something to block my, <laughs> my trap you mess with the wrong Every, people. everybody else is getting in cars and leaving and going and i'm like yeah mother let's go <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I, you know what? I don't know what happened to Sam from uh, Forge from Freedom, but shout out. See, there we go. Here's the group therapy shirt that you can get on Forge from Freedom. Uh, yeah, that's Strange cool. collection. I think Safety Harbor is going to be doing uh, some shirts on there. Yes, right? we are. I just said, uh, lately, since we got back from thing, it's been something every day at the shop. You know, my machine was running, and now one that they fixed stopped running today. Mm -hmm. It's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Welcome to the awesome world. If someone should do a reality show on your shop, <laughs> well, well, no, I don't need that aggravation. I mean, yeah, that'll be uh, fun. Uh, not uh, well. I mean, yeah. it would slow things down even more. So, uh, you know, one thing I don't. Anybody listening? If any of my people are listening or anything, one thing I don't like is 
when I'm trying to figure something out, somebody's hovering right here. So mm -hmm. my poise are hovering, waiting for me to come to an answer. It's like, go the fuck away from me. Just <laughs> see, this is why I'm saying uh, Discovery Channel. I'm making the pitch right now. This would be friggin' awesome <laughs> as a reality <laughs> show. And I'll even move to Safety Harbor. I'll get like a little apartment <laughs> or something over just so I can pretend that I'm there all the time. <laughs> you know, I'll be well, like the Chum Lee or something like that. Of uh, if, if this if this stock thing takes off, it might be reality worthy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, we you are going to be on Fortune Freedom. Want to shout them out? There's this, and then there's the bigger that is better that you see okay. behind me on this. Uh, I'm going to yeah, sexually it's, it's harass. Missing, it's missing one There's, caliber. That's all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the fifty. Thing. The fifty. Yeah, yeah. You should make no fifty is better. Or something like that. We we can always upgrade the shirt, man. Yeah, we can it's easy it to do. It's easy to yeah. do. And then look, look at that. It's also rocking like a Hank Strange. Uh -huh, which I have that patch too now, too. Yeah. Just, I got <laughs> Where's your Hank Strange patch? I didn't see that. I have a story about one of them, but I don't know if I should really Uh oh. Uh, um, tell us. You've already All right, here we go. It. I get back, you know, you get back from shot and you got a whole freaking bag full of dirty clothes, right? Right. Oh, you boy. know, you get back, you know, and I I we at the at the Keller house, if I have dirty clothes, I take it down, throw it in a wash machine, and get it going, right? Mm -hmm. So I just grab all the dirty clothes out and throw it in the throw it into the uh, into the washing machine. And later on, I go to take it out, and put it in the dryer, and I'm taking this out, taking this out, taking this out. And lo and behold, <laughs> lo and behold, there's a Hank Strange patch stuck to a pair of my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty, naughty. I don't have any idea how the two met. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> but there it is, stuck to a pair of underwear, and I'm like, Did it survive? To... Oh yeah, the patch did great. I, yeah. I pulled it out. And I took it to Peggy. I showed my wife, and she's like, she's cracking up. So mm -hmm. it was funny. I peeled the one off, and the underwear went in the dryer, and life is good again. So yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, at least it survived. <laughs> <laughs> no, the patch we got that. We got the that. patch. The patch was fine. Yeah, I mean the patch. Yeah, it, I wasn't was asking. About, I didn't want to know if the underwear survived. The so. Underwear survived too. Yeah, <laughs> but did you get a chance to try the point six socks? That's something I thought was cool. But some people were like, "What the hell is this doing here?" Six socks. No. Okay. Yeah, that's the the um, the merino wool socks. Not familiar. That um, yeah, Jesse James took us over there, and they actually pretty. I'm not wearing them right now because I only I think I got one or two pairs. And they're, I'm wearing regular socks right now, and regular socks are horrible. I'm going all – I'm switching over all my socks. Is it the fabric that makes it so special or the weave or what? Yeah, it? it's a, a multiple things. You know, they put support systems in there. They use merino wool, which is very comfortable, you know, and um, it's are, more are expensive. They rather, are, they, are they rather pricey? Um, I think it's uh, something like $15, $15, $16 a pair or something like that. Right. Um, however, it's guaranteed for life, lifetime lifetime warranty on it okay. so you have problems you send it to them they send you new socks okay so i i really like them i wore them a couple of times and i think i'm going to switch over to that so lola says that the uh survival dispatch link has been updated okay guys so you can go check out the survival dispatch link i was talking about it so i will dispatch this is a magazine this is a print of the magazine on survival dispatch which you can go in the description stuff like that it's there now Lola did something about it. Um, and uh, so who do we have coming on tomorrow, Lola? Is it? Oh, Babyface is coming on tomorrow. Are you coming back tomorrow, Walter? I can. Yeah. Sure. We'll bring, it, we'll, we'll bring in some guns. Yeah, we'll do some guns, yeah. Yeah, so we can have Gorn going on. Yeah, I'll find something. I'm, I'm sure I can find something. Yeah. So it's going to be a wild and crazy year. I don't know when we're getting together yeah. to do some videos, but we got a whole bunch of stuff going well, on. Well, once my stuff comes back from from um my containers come back from shot um we'll get together and do some mp5 yeah. stuff too yeah jackson oldman still complaining he says socks videos but nothing at the barrega booth <laughs> still I, <laughs> I didn't even get over there what were you looking for to bagara bagara yeah. booth Bergara. is it bagara i don't know Bergara. yeah, Spanish yeah, Bergara Bergara booth. yeah. i, I yeah. saw their booth but i didn't stop by there so yeah what is it you wanted from over there jackson just yeah. let me know um is that who got our 308, Lola? Jackson Oldman? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. I didn't hear about the 308. What's up with the 308? How's that going? We'd like to know. 
Oh, uh, let us know how that 308. The, he he's the one that got the uh, Brownells and the uh, Stag Arms and WMD oh, guns, oh, oh, oh. along with some other things. He got the 308. Let us know about that. Also, let me know what it was you were interested in. Um, he says he wants to see the new HMR Pros. Don't mm. I don't even know what that is. HMR like 17 HMR. No, he's saying at the the not Beretta. Bergara. Bergara booth. Oh, yeah. yeah, we didn't. I didn't even get over there, so oh, okay. I saw it, but I didn't stop by there. I just it was, it was in passing. Yeah, and who say says um, and this is the guy's name. When is main channel going to be able to stream? Any update from our cram comrades at YouTube? No, YouTube hasn't answered me on that. I don't know if they put back on our streaming, but what we're gonna do from here is we're not gonna stream. The, the podcast from there anymore. We're going to do it on Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded from now on. So just make sure you subscribe here. We're going to do it here. It's going to be here. And then I'm going to download it and repost it over there. Um, you know, and that's like, uh, I think that's just the best way to go right now. We'll have other stuff going on here as well. Yeah, as well as stuff going on in the main channel. We're posting, basically, we're posting videos to the main channel every single day. So Monday to Friday, we're doing the podcast, but we're going to do it live from here. And then if we wind up getting problems here, then we'll move it back to back over there. But honestly, what I'm doing is trying to set up um, a, a totally different place that we don't have to deal with all this nonsense anymore. Um, we're just working on that right now. So uh, I'll I didn't keep hear you guys any, posted. I didn't hear any chatter about NRA. At the, Johnny B is asking if there was any chatter about NRA situation. I didn't hear anything. No, I didn't hear anything either. I know I did. I did run into. Um, I did run into Coleo Noir, and I posted a picture of him on Instagram. And some people were mad because I posted a picture of him. Um, you know, sometimes I com I I complain about Colin Noir, but at the end of the day, he's a human being, and and I like him, and I yeah. separate in my mind the company that he works for, and he works for a company that works for the NRA. He works for so, himself too, so. Yeah. So, but ultimately, I'm not a fan. I'm not a supporter of the NRA. But I'm not going to go around kicking people's asses, or you or know, make, or making enemies all over the whole yeah, world. Yeah, or, or trying to go after them because honestly, yeah. he's a really nice guy. Unfortunately, he's in this situation that he works for the NRA. I seriously wish that Colin Noir did not work for the NRA. I really, I because yeah. I think things would be different. But this is like a thing sometimes, and that's why I fought for a long time to be able to work for people and say whatever the hell I want to. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, yeah. I saw him in and, passing and that, in a booth. But, yeah. yeah, and that's what I appreciate about the guys here at Big Daddy Guns because, I mean, they let me say whatever the hell I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but, you know, he's got to make a living and he's, he's a good person and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not personally going to, you know, so right. like I say things about him all the time. Like, how come he doesn't say some shit about this or whatever? So I get where you guys are coming from, but I'm not going to beat him up and I'm not going to like try to attack him. We've got enough anti second amendment have enough people. To do as it is, yeah. No, but it's not just that. There's enough people going after him. They've gone after his mother and you know, his father and all kinds of stuff. So I'm not going to add to that, but I am going to speak the truth and say that the NRA is full of bullshit. <laughs> okay. You know, and I'm not really fans of what the NRA is doing. They're not, you know, they're not listening to our voices. They're not making their voice heard with lots of shit that's going on right now that's really against the Second Amendment. But in a lot of ways, the NRA is like they say that we're trying to infiltrate it. It's already been infiltrated with people who are not really Second Amendment. Right, um, right. Marion people. Hammer, Marion Hammer, Marion yeah, Hammer. Exactly. And Kitty, all the cats. Kitty cat woman. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, she's like Dolores. Uh, what's the woman from Harry Potter? Dolores uh, Humbridge. There's some yeah. creepy shit. I'd say yeah. what. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you know, you can love your animals and do all that stuff, but when you take pictures, every all you have is to take, a, you know, a cat. Yeah. A cat. <laughs> a cat. A cat. Who gives a, f a cat? It's like. Yeah, I know. Creepy. And by the way, I'm still going to the NRA. I don't know if you are. I'm still going to the NRA well, show. We got to chat about that. I like. Yeah. I'm gonna. I have. I never heard from him about about tables. So fuck that. I'm not getting any tables. But um, um, you can still try to get a table. You know, but I'm yeah, I'm gonna, it's like it's just. It's a, I got so much shit going on right now. It's like um, I'd rather. I, I, let's do. Let's let's stay focused. But I'll go and have some fun. 
Yeah, I, I would like to go. I know that they're coming down on dudes like Mac, which I'm not happy with, but I'm going anyway for that reason. And he'll be there too. Yeah, and he'll be there, and I'm going so that I can support him. Oh, you got to wear that shirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We all need to get those shirts, but we need to go there, and we need to like not – you know, we need to put the pressure on them instead of walking away because we've invested in, in this organization and they need to listen to us and we need right, to make well, them listen to us whether yeah. they like it or not. So, well, I think that's yeah, the way I, I feel about it. Yeah. And go, Adam Kraut. Go, 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 go. Absolutely. If we don't go there, we can't make some changes. I don't think getting Adam in there is the end all. But we no, need no, to, no, no. But it's a start. Yeah, we need because to do he's that. Been, and we need he's to been labeled fun. as an adjutant by old cat lady Marion. So yeah, um, and look, maybe if people like us were running the NRA, then there wouldn't, you know, there wouldn't be this much like you know control of the message so far as yeah. what Coleon is able to go out there and say. And it's is you know he's got a contract most likely and all That's kinds goodness. of things going on there. Yeah, and it's weird. I don't I don't know if he agrees with it all or whatever. I tried when we were at Shot Show. I I. I saw him out there. Lola and I saw him, and I asked him to come on the show. Um, mm. You know, working on it. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't know that that's going to happen, but I think <laughs> it'll be awesome. You know, maybe he'll get some time off and he'll come on the show, and maybe we can try to address some of these things. You know, like we do with anything else, man. Lots of people are welcome to come here on this show. Yeah, and talk yeah. about shit. Yeah, so. we, we we've heard it all. Yeah. Not all, but we heard a lot. And and we're and we're welcoming to people. We invite a lot of people to come down here and talk about things and um, get it off their chest. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I don't know what happened to Sam. Maybe we'll see him tomorrow or something like that. But we have burned through more than two hours. So you got any stuff that you want to uh, give this opportunity to, to pitch whatever things you need to, Walter? Let okay, people know what's going go. on. Um, they were asking on the chat about CZ stocks. We're working on getting some more of those together for the Scorpion. Um, the HK stock, HK and P5K, got to turn some metal and cut some more out, but they're going to be busy with them because so, uh, everybody's interested in them. Um, going to be making that for the also the HK MP5, as they call stretch, um, which is an, a K in the front, party in the front, and work in the back. Um, aside from that, um, just trying to get our bearings back after shot and uh, getting ready for this uh, year. I think it's going to be good. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Awesome. Um, Make America I, great again. <laughs> <laughs> Arm America go. fully again. <laughs> yeah. Make America full auto again. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. yeah. Yeah. There you America. go. That's a nice hat. Someone needs yeah, to make that hat. Yeah. Make America full auto again. America. Listen, I think every other country in the world needs to be scared shitless of us. That's what I believe. Mutual. Sorry. You know, back, I, back, I back, back, during, back during the Cold War, there was a thing called MAD. Mutual assured destruction. You're yeah. not gonna fuck with me because if you know you fuck with me, I'm gonna blow you the fucking kingdom come, and that's how things stayed peaceful. Yeah, absolutely. Fear is a healthy thing. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no more, no more apology tour tours. No more, <laughs> no yeah. more apologizing for shit. Either like us or get the fuck out. At of least that. for the next three years, right? And right. then maybe Four. further than that. Eight. Yeah, for you. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, all right. So we are going to sign off. You guys are going to see us tomorrow. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to like and share this video. We'll, we'll repost it on the regular channel, but we're going to be doing it here from the B channel from now on. And then we'll be putting all the regular videos and everything over there. So um, look for us here. Same bat channel, same bat time. Walter and I are out of here. <laughs> um, thanks to everyone that sponsors the channel. That's Safety Harbor Firearms. Okay. There you go. Safety Harbor Firearms. Andrew's Custom Leather. And of course, Big Daddy Guns, which you don't have a lower third here. Big Daddy. Today, because something's not working in the system. But big <laughs> shout out to Big Daddy Guns. Don't forget about the survival dispatch thing, you know, where you can do yep. cool stuff yep. like this. We, we, we put something in the description. Lola says it's working. So we will see you guys and peace out. Night, night.